Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, Sunday edition. Woo. Yay! Yay! <laughs> We're Sunday. in a Sunday We're special yum, extra. Yum, yum, oh, yum. it's street time. It's street <laughs> Get time. it in early. Get it in early. Yes. Uh, welcome to a special Sunday edition. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Do you Go want to it. give yeah, your yeah. intro or oh, give me the intro look? Okay. I can. I, they, they don't need to see You us. can intro while, they while watch, I they can, feed. They can watch the there we go. Okay. Uh, yes, it's Sunday. Because today is the last day of voting in the Atari Homebrew Awards. Yes. So we're finishing up the rest of the categories, mm -hmm. which include Atari Lynx Best Homebrew and Atari 8-Bit 5200 Best Homebrew. And we'll also be taking a look at the packaging. Yes. The pictures cool. of all the packaging Yay. of the nominated packaging games. Uh, and we're already starting with the cat. So yes. Carl G. <laughs> Started off right, feeding the cat. Yes. So he'll calm down and not be a crazy cat for a little bit anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's out of the picture. It's okay. I was gonna. I was like, oh, there's no Twitch subscribers, and I realized it's because it's on the kitten camp. Oh, <laughs> they're there. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, you know what? I have to grab my phone and resubscribe. Yes. I still haven't done it. I will feed the cat and Weeks then grab now. my phone because I feel really bad. It's been yes. three episodes and I still haven't done it. While you're gone. Oh. Well, I'll read the Twitch subscribers right now. Uh, Al in the Fur Arms, Gar Coder, Atari, 1974, Atari Age, Big Dog Susie, Bomberman, BR Pocock, Buck Owens, Calfman 2D, Charles Donya Mao, uh, Charles Whelan, Chive 5, Dianoid, Dan, have you seen Daryl, 1970, Drexel, Emu Dan, Fox, Mulder, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC, Wonder Out, Ecology, Croco, Laurent, TDZ, Marco Johannes, Park Space, Inc., Metal Atari, Metal Lunar, Mix Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Metal. Mike Littow, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarno, Wood, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Neo Media, Or Don, Ekro, Bakra, VG, Quahog, R. Anschwitz, RC70, Yarndered, Ghost, Repentless, VG, Ricardo Pim, Smitty B, Spice, Where Esther Mirrors, 2008, The D Train, The Welsh Man, Tiki Dan, K, and Not You. And if you want to be <laughs> yes. down the side here, do as I do. With your name. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, let me grab my phone. Do as Tanya does <laughs> as she's going to grab her phone and resubscribe right now. Cat wins the or ding 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 ding. Getting the treat time earlier means there's more chances for Atari to get treats during the show too. That is true. You could possibly fit in three treat times if you do it right at the beginning and right at the very end at the two hour mark. If we make it to two hours day, we will see. Uh, anyway, if you want your name down there, hit subscribe. And if you just want to be alerted to the show being on live on Twitch, just hit follow. Uh, and uh, ding 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 so what's happening today we don't have a poll we don't have mail but we do have one piece of news because it's only been two days and i've been very busy doing the award stuff andrew davy posted uh an update to uh his code his program for his globe spinning um demo that he did yeah. And I showed this to you. Yes. Um, he was able to revise it <clears throat> recently using uh, Jetset Illy's Gopher 2600 emulator, which if you run your program, it can point out hotspots in your program, which are areas of high usage. Um, or not just high usage, but high CPU time, I believe. So you can pinpoint where your code is a bit bulky and maybe refine your code so it can run a little bit faster. A little faster. And he wasn't yeah. able to run this emulation, uh, this um, globe spinning demo on real hardware before, but he ran it through Gopher and was able to pinpoint um, some heavy code. Oh. And now he's able to run it on actual 2600 hardware. Wow. Like um, the actual hardware. It was all just in emulation before? Yeah, it was all in emulation. Oh, so let's so just cool. skip over. It looks so good. So this is... So he, he shows a demo of it running in Gopher and um, highlighting the the spots that said PA I know. On the spinning <laughs> so globe. Neat. Um, and then he actually demos it on 
Real hardware. Oh, look at that. Spinning globe with wow. ZPH on it. Super nice. Yeah. Hi, Cat. Uh, he didn't post the binary of it, but, and then he did, um, posted a video of all the other worlds that are in that as well. Oh, yes, yes, Remember yes. Remember all the worlds that we yes, showed I, on the show? Oh, it's spinning faster. Yeah. What are you doing, Cat? What a silly cat. So the spinning globe demo uses some pretty tight code to enable to run it on 2600 machine machine using CDFJ bank switching. Previous versions had a bit of an odd transition along the vertical center line. Textures seem to grab and swipe past that center line in a not convincing, uh, and it was not convincing. Well, I figured out the issue. Uh -huh. As the screen is drawn in two halves, each half starting in the center and going to the edge, I started each at the same pixel. So, and you can read more about that. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll, um, I'll link it in the chat for people to check it out on their own. Yeah, scaling and rotation on a 2600. It is unbelievable what he was able to achieve. There's another world there. Oh, that's so cool. It's like green bits and water and... Like little stripies, stripes. clouds or something fl yeah. floating through there. It oh, looks really good. There's like uh, the Earth. Earth, actual... Look at that. Planet where we <gasps> live, North and South America. Nice. South Africa, Asia. Nice. Did it include New Zealand? <laughs> No, no, well, New Zealand. Well, it's a little, it's a little, yeah. <laughs> That's a joke. It's a little small. You know that joke. What? Oh, on maps that yeah, New Zealand's not there a lot of Yeah, the there's yeah. a whole subreddit dedicated to maps that exclude New, New Zealand. Zealand. <laughs> uh, oh, moon, M-O-O-N. There nice. we go. Uh, yeah, so yeah. very, very, very cool. Yeah, there's been a lot of very clever usage of playfield graphics recently in the past couple of years like with robotron using playfield graphics for enemies mm -hmm. uh for Xevious doing full screen um scrolling graphics for turbo which is more like a movie being played frames of a movie being played while you play over top of it in the racing car yes um and of course uh andrew davy uses playfield graphics extensively in his mm. games for for many purposes just unbelievable uh, imagine the game solaris running uh showing a small scene with you approaching each, each planet planets in detail yeah, yes so i'm nice. hoping that's what he's going to incorporate it into his game when hop yeah yeah um is i think that's what he's planning yeah it's like that's you land on each planet so you, and then you, you approach you, the spinning planet yeah, yeah and then you land on it cool. and you drill in it like we yeah. we did some demos of that game i think i remember previously. that yes yeah yeah um and of course uh movie cart which is like a crazy use of the playfield graphics oh yeah plus more yeah uh, they incorporate a lot of the graphic mm -hmm. elements that's very cool yeah, so that uh, spinning over would work well for the Port of Liberator. So a, a lot of games that have, uh, and that's just using play playfield. So you can mm -hmm. use the player graphics as well, and the ball and the missile on top of it too. If you have a little ship that flies in, or for um, gyrus as well, because mm -hmm. that flies into planets. Yes, in that's cut true. Cutscenes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Excellent for cutscenes. So, yeah, ex very excellent for cutscenes because yeah. you don't need any input in cutscenes. You no. can just concentrate on displaying, almost like demo like. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so, we're going to start off with Atari 8 bit 5200 Best Homebrew. Now, today we're going to extensively use the emulator. Yes. For two, two reasons. Uh, what, or for multiple reasons. One is a lot of these games for the 8-bit 5200 okay. category are either above 64K, okay. which I don't have a mod yet to, to, for, to play it. for playing 128K games okay. and above. Um, and some of the games are PAL versions, okay. which I have an NTSC machine because I live in NTSC mm. land. Yes. Maybe one day I'll get a PAL machine <laughs> yeah. because uh, the upscaler can handle PAL. Yeah. So you just need a PAL uh, power and a PAL machine, and you're good to go. Yeah. Will that be the restri restriction in the metaverse if you're an NTSC land or PAL land? <laughs> That's right. You just see weird lines yeah. <laughs> and black and white, and it's that's shuddering. How we, that's how we'll be divided in the future, is, yeah. is, is the technology. I need a PAL XCGS. Yeah. I need PAL something. Now you need a PAL version of every console you own. Well, <laughs> luckily, the only console that has a heavy development in PAL 
oh. is on the 8-bit because yeah. it has a huge following in Europe, mm. especially in Poland mm. um, and some other areas The 8-bits well. are strong in Eastern Europe, Thrust says. Yes, very strong. Very strong. Yeah. Um, just like Commodore 64, most games are made for PAL uh, now. Mm. So it's like, ah, ah, so I can only buy some of them on cartridge. Because a lot of them are just released for PAL. Just PAL. There's no other Because version. they have... No. Uh, because they have uh, higher resolution. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and a lot of the games are made in Europe. So they're like, eh, yeah. why would I make an NTSC version? And the other reason is we're going to be playing Lynx today. I do not have a Lynx, let alone a modded Lynx yeah. <laughs> for VGA output, yeah. even though those do exist. So yeah. in the future, maybe Hopefully. able to support that. Hopefully. Good. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll be using an emulator for the packaging visuals. No. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just be looking at the photos. Uh, so we're going to start off with the 8-bit 5200 games, starting with Albert. Um, and we've got controls right here. Albert. I Albert. Think, I think it's highly unlikely I've played any of these games. Some of so... these we have not played, so this okay. will be the first time, so you'll have to bear with us. <laughs> As we figure it out. As we figure it out yeah. and play through them and kind of explain them to ourselves yeah. as, as well as we've explained it do to you. Have, do you have manuals or, or uh, instructions I've, for some of them? Some of them, but I've gone through and played through them, so I know the basics. Okay. okay. So, well, and we're not going to be enough. doing huge playthroughs anyway. Okay. We're just going to be looking at the basics and the graphics and Anyhow. the sound and things like that. Excellent. Uh, so let's get a good, Altira. Huh? A good Sunday morning to everyone. Oh, yes. Um, no, I mean, uh, thanks for joining us. I yeah. Mean, depending on, on where you are in the world, this might be a better time for you than in the evenings. So. That's true. A lot of people yeah. do like, uh, like Thrust. He's here. Yes. Right. He can't be here a lot of times or ever yeah. at the late shows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, you just watch it after the fact. This is super cute. I'm liking this already. Well, we, they can't see it. Right? I know, so but. It's, so it's not super cute to them. <laughs> Not flip yet. it over, flip it over. Uh, I kind of want to boot it and then... Okay. Yeah, what I can do... There we go, because it takes a bit to boot. There we are. Albert! So this is a platformer game. Mm. We're going to put 2 p.m. Yeah, a After later. 1400. Yeah. yeah. We saw it when we tested it. Atari 2600, dude, it's 7 a.m. Monday morning. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Well, I, that's, that's within far. the realm of... <laughs> waking hours i suppose yeah. yeah just if you have to work that's the problem <laughs> so this is made by you can press a button Albert. it'll be a i think oh that's super cute so pictures by kaz i like that pictures program music game graphics kski uh albert design and animation triple x animations odin odin 1aec odin ek kaz ksi version 1.02 uh, 022221. Thank you, Jedekiah. Hope it's going well today. Always good seeing you streaming. Well, yes. Always good to have you here watching us. That's right. So, uh, hold fire to run, up to jump. Uh, um, hold fire to run. Ooh. Oh, sorry. No, I didn't we have mean no instructions. <laughs> Let's reload that just to make sure that we have all the instructions. Uh, it's like hold fire to run hold fire to run and then i hit fire <laughs> yeah oops too suggestible yeah i am okay press it once there you go uh slant to start running fire to jump oh there's different options default run left right down to walk okay so the default, default I, I would keep it on the default okay because then you don't have to do special keys for running hold fire to run default to run what's yeah. default to run it just runs automatically. You don't have to oh, press something I special. See. Okay. Because you do have to do running jumps in this okay. game. So I would just keep it on that. You're always What's running. It's jumping, it doesn't say. Anyway. It's just the button. The so, button to yeah. jump. So go okay. for it. This Level is... one with a cute, cute, cute snail. That's a really great graphics. Cute. Yeah. Just to, is slant a diagonal or just to tilt the stick? Tilt your stick. Okay, start playing. <laughs> Oh, it's so cute. It's a platformer. Yep. Oh, my goodness. With a cute ladybugs. A very nice big um, player graphics. So you've got three lives. Uh, you've got can five I squish energy. them? Uh, you can jump on top of them, but don't let them hit the side of you. 
like Ooh, that. I see. So don't slide off. Ah! No, 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 you can't kill them. Turn no, I'm not there. trying to. Oh, you you fall off them. Get Never mind. Get out of there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, jump. yeah. No, no, I was wondering if I had to use it to jump up. Oh, off That's of them. That's what I was trying to do. No, I don't think that works. No, no, no. Does it? No. Go no. to the left. There's a ladder there. Oh, my God. Come on. Jump when you're supposed to. We had similar eyes character in the last show. Oh, uh, yes. Hey, guys. Everything has eyes. There you go. There you go. Just getting used to that. Lots of dodging in this game with the small platforms. Oh, I did pretty good. Because there's a bit of momentum uh, in this game. Just a slight amount. Where you have to say, you have to uh, start running to get across. And there's a little bit of you have to slow down, but I mean, you've got it handled. Oh, Yay. that was it? Level one! Oh, okay. Okay, that's fair. Howard reminds me of Chip from Chip's Challenge with the Glasses. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So the dragonfly that, that was on the opening screen yep. reminded me of the dragonfly and dragonfly. Is oh. that a coincidence, or is that just... Totally different system. Ah. So you Goodness. probably... Maybe the person's never heard of the dragonfly card, in fact. Dragonfly's just nice. I was just wondering if, if there was any inspiration as far as the... Highly unlikely, but you never know. The person may be a fan of the 7800 as well. Uh, I died? First life. Oh. Very mean ladybugs. They're bitey. They're ladybugs, very bitey. Ladybugs and also... Ladybugs um, are nice. They eat aphids. Oh, actually, dragonflies death. can be bitey. Can they? Yeah. I think so. They can. Ah! They are. Still got three energy and two lives. It's funny because uh, sometimes you kind of grasp onto the ladder. You can't fall off the ladder, by the way. That's oh, what's, that's left what's, right. That's what's messing me up because you can go to the top you and have fall to. Down. <sighs> that's what messing, that's what's, uh, messing me up. Oh goodness. Seventy-eight hundred work in progress. Bernie was the game same character. Oh, oh yeah, that's, that's what you're referring cute. to. Very mean and huge ladybugs. Now, are the ladybugs huge, or is he just really tiny? Oh, that's <laughs> that's I would fall down, because then it's easier to know what's going on. True. You can change the controls in this game. Default one is hard for me. I found it not too bad, because yeah, it's just one button. It. It's, it's more the... Because you don't need to walk too much. Like, you can just press the, press left or right a little bit, and that's kind of why. Gotta time it just as he leaves, so you have lots of time. Oh, I did, but I didn't quite jump over him properly. Because awesome. awesome. so you don't have any other frames of reference, except for the ladders. Oh. So the ladders can be small, too. We'll have to wait for uh, something else to occur See, on the screen. you feel like you should be able to jump onto the ladder, and I think... I can you not jump onto it again? I don't know. I don't think I was, but I'm confused. I have to I have to practice that. The lady bugs look like photos, almost too realistic. They're so beautiful. They're super beautiful. Yeah, I find that with some newer games. Newer games that are trying to be a little retro. Yeah. Not not on these platforms, but like on modern consoles. That um, they make like really simplistic graphics. They make them realistic looking. Ladybugs are very realistic. I don't think anything can be smooth. Briefly jump on their back. Oh, they can travel on their back. Ah! You look like you were. It's not very forgiving. That guy does does turn tur towards you. True, the shading makes him look more 3D and the main character is a bit flat by comparison. Yeah, because he's solid. Um, distance? Is there a ladder up to the left? Oh. Yeah, the shading's great. And I've seen, I've noticed a lot of people on 2600 doing a lot more shading nowadays. Because all you have to do is change the color a little bit every time you draw it. With these, there's also obviously more than one color on the same line. You can't jump onto it. Mm, I think climb up. You have to kind of, you, yeah, you have to get underneath it and climb up. And it yeah. feels like you should be able to jump on it, but you can't, so. Each game has their own rules. Yeah, 
play well. Not to <laughs> this one without dying, you're on your last life. So, it's good to know that you cannot fall off the ladder. Oh, of course. Uh, oh, oh my god. It's hard to die sometimes. Ah, I just keep getting... Last piece of energy. And the happy pokey tune I too. I know it is. Yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty nice. What bugs are in this one? Oh uh, god! Ah, right away. <laughs> big, big wasps. Okay. Big wasps. Oh boy. Ooh. Can't duck. Get on that ladder pretty quick. Oh, they went down. What? Interesting. So they vacate the level you're on, maybe? Oh, well, how am I, how do I get up there? Just have to press up as you pass jump, by it. Or I have to jump on a loss, maybe? Oh, maybe. Ooh, I wouldn't take that chance. No, oh, maybe you do don't... have to get on a wasp to back. Oh, there they are. They're just, it goes really far. Is that really tight, though? No. no, don't touch the wasps at all. Last piece of energy. I don't know what to do here. What do we have against insects? Ah. Hmm. Oh, that's the end. It's your turn. Oh, <laughs> eaten by. <laughs> oh. That ladybug looks a little remorseful, so maybe. He does look remorseful. He's like, what did I, I do? I just wanted to be your friend. No, there's no ducking. Let's see. Let's see what I can do. Here. Was oh there level God. picking? So you start. Oh my God. Picking. Oh it's, 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 it's very easy because you don't sit on their back either. So you, you have to. You fall off their back. You yeah. fall off their back and then immediately get like hit by them if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just precise, that's all. It's not, not hard, just. Uh, oh, pfft. See? Very precise. Damn Good it. job! Uh, this is uh, Atari 8 bit. Mm -hmm. So the computer line. Atari's. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. It's not easy. Not it looks easy. easier than it is. Yeah. Those ladybugs are beautiful, though. I love the background, like the, the oh, kind of. The kind of. Um, sunrise, sunset, rainbowish background they have going on there. Yeah. It's really pretty. Really nicely done. Yeah. Just <laughs> slipped off the nice. edge. I like Super this. Happy. I like this dude with his like ski goggle glasses. Albert. Oh, you can grab it. I did it in midair. Did you? Yeah. Grab what? Uh, Sorry. Oh, right to the bottom. You have to get over. Ladder. You have to go to the right anyway. You have to get the stuff on the right. Oh, There's a whole I missed bunch it. Of stuff on the right. Yeah. Yeah, I jumped up and grabbed it. Well, you, but you ah. have to be directly beneath it. You can jump up and grab it, but you have to be beneath it. Like, if you're too far on a slant, it doesn't seem like you can do that very easily. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yes, always glad to see main character with glasses. Yep. Hi, hi, Emudan. Oh, or Emudan. On. Uh, probably emu, emu, as in emulator, emulator? or it could like emus. Oh, I couldn't get off the ladder. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I think I found a game oh, I might be better god. better than you. Have. <laughs> Doing just atrocious. Tony did far better. Thanks, Matoko. <laughs> yeah. It is did. precise. It is a precise. Uh... Get off the ladder. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm getting used to. You have to go right completely off the ladder. Mm -hmm. You can't mm -hmm. remove yourself from the ladder yeah, anytime you're off. Yeah. yeah. So you have to go 
press, yeah. keep pressing up yeah. until you're ah off the ladder. Yeah. And then he lands on the floor. Yeah. Beautiful graphics in this one. Looks like 16-bit. Yes, it does. It does. Even the background. I love, I love sunsets and rainbow backgrounds. I, I love that in games. I love oh, all yeah. the Activision and, and that, style. when you finish the level, it goes crazy. Oh, yeah. So it's nice. So, so you finished this level, too, didn't you? I did. <laughs> I did, yeah. I got to the wasp level, and then we got to the point where it was like, how do we get up there? <laughs> you must have to jump on a wasp or something. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, there's a platform to the far right. Okay. So not not there on where that ladybug is. Oh. But like okay. you have to you have to do like a leap of a leap of faith. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. Lost piece of energy in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Forgot where it was. Oh. Do we know which graphics mode this is using? I am not up on my graphics mode yet, so. Ooh. to a certain ah brutal runs <laughs> you have to get to yes. a certain run speed to yep. to to do the big jumps yeah so you kind of have to time you kind of have to run, run the and then you, you get a little boost of speed and then i think you can jump the distance for those long distances oh my I know, they're mean sometimes. so i have to do this whole thing yeah again. i think so Yay! I made it to the same level! Yay, level four! <laughs> and then maybe you'll figure out how to get to that upper, upper platform. Oh god. These guys are scary. They're not always there, though. They go really far. Maybe you can't. Maybe there's more to the left because they go for a long ways. I thought I, I thought I, wa I walked that distance on the bottom Did level, you? though. I'm pretty sure I Well, did. there's wasps, so you might have been... Oh, oh my god. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Oh, no, that's it. it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's it. I think you do have to run and grab that ladder. Okay, you can run up. and jump. You can run up. and jump to it. I think you have to be at the right height. Good job! Extra man! Woo! Yay! I needed it. An extra Albert. Oh, ladybugs again. Ah! So scary. So scary. Nostalgic oh. says, at first, with this many colors, I thought it might be a GTIA mode. But I, how, uh, I wonder if it's display list trickery. The enemies don't overlap the platforms. So they don't have to share color palettes. Oh. Yeah. They also don't overlap the uh, energy, whatever those are that you're catching. Top? Oh, yeah. Everything's right? on its own Everything's line. Everything's on its own line. So when, when it was, I noticed when it, uh, my, my hair touched him. <laughs> you back at oh, my God. Oh. oh, you still have another. Oh, you got an extra yeah. life. That's good. Luckily. Oh, um, yeah, I noticed with the wasps, yep. um, they were on the ground, the little energy pellets or whatever those are. Oh, And yes. so they weren't at the level of the wasps going by, which so is smart. So it's able smart. to change modes or change color pellets. Oh. I do think it's well balanced as far as, you know, your energy levels and lives, yeah. because it, it is very easy to get hit. Um, yay! I think you're about to get Just... Bitten. Oh, an extra man Woo! again? Woo! Another extra man! Thank you. Maybe you get it if you're down to zero and you pass the level. Maybe. So you, you keep going? I mean, that would make sense. Because then you're stuck with just whatever energy you have. You only have two energy, so you could start ah. a level. Ah, with, no, no, that's not true though. Because one of the levels you did, you did with like one yes. energy. So. I think I have to wait for the wasp no, to they, go to the they, left. No, they go to different levels. Ah. Like go there, and then I can go just to the go right. Now. Just go now. Just go now. Yeah. Go down. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, extra little area there. Interesting. Oh, no, that's it. Yeah. 
Maybe Very nice just, waterfall. Just to get away from the wasp. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all the they're all on the ground here, right? Maybe you get an extra life if you pass a level without losing a life. That's possible. Oh, maybe. Uh. No, no, no. Oof. This is tricky because they're everywhere. And they do change directions sometimes. Yep. Based on I don't know what. Oh, oh, oh. Now I can go to the left here. Lots of ladders, so that's good. No! Oh! oh we just gotcha. Down to zero energy. Oh! Ah! You almost had it. Should almost. Have waited. Last chance. You just, at least you don't have to redo what you've already done. Oh my god. You those know? kind of games? Man, those are frustrating. It's like, you have to do the whole level again. Nope. Okay, can I go now? This last bit? Yay. Yes. Wow! Graphics are detailed by the author over here. Thank oh, you so nice. much. Dressed. It's in Polish, though, so you'll need to translate it. <laughs> These guys are so cute. I thought I would die a lot earlier. Sorry, I'm taking a long time in this game. <laughs> well, uh, you want to uh, show off as much as you can. Ooh, lucky. That's, you have ooh, to hit up boy. right away, right? Yeah, just hold up as you jump. Crazy. <laughs> no! <laughs> well, drown! You get to see me go under the water. <laughs> oh my god, one more life. Yeah, lucky. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Didn't think I was this is so cute. I, I just I, I just think it's so beautiful. You get a running jump, and That's you don't have you to have collect to things. You can yeah. just keep going and jumping and jumping. And jumping. Nice. nice. Oh, there's a bug there. Yeah. Right now. Yay! I think this is a good endpoint. <laughs> uh, or do you yeah. want to keep playing? Well, I, I'm on almost time. dead. Oh, mm, yeah, we do have to move on. Three That's hardware sprites, P012M012, are used in the form of Albert. Thanks mm -hmm. to this, our hero can have any three colors in each line. So we'll just take a look at this. Next sure. Here. <laughs> uh, I bet I know it's just Ooh. constantly. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is very cool. Like, there's no platforms or anything, just tons of Just dodging. Bugs. Bug dodging. I want to see some ladybugs eat some aphids. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, no aphids. Oh, so no aphids. Oh, it's so cute. Super cute game. <laughs> Maybe you're the aphid. Maybe Albert's the aphid. So the next game is Final Assault. Let me load it up. This is where you learn to jump over enemies, yes. <laughs> yes. So we're going to be using Final Assault version 1.0, which was put out November 1st. It has been updated uh, about a month ago. I believe this is the first-person shooter. GMD production. So this is made by uh, Robert Globe Pecknick, uh, Code Graphics Design. Merrick Marco Chorvat, testing support. Marian Goldmaster Viba Stock, uh, music and hardware support. Nice. Rogue AI wages all out war against oh. mankind. Knew it. Knew it would happen Future eventually. Of humanity hangs in the balance. Will you submit to your fate? Never! <laughs> well, eventually. Uh, or will you join? 
finalists. Oh, very 80s action movie. Yeah. Kind of box, back of the box, right up. GMA presents AI Wars Chapter Zero Final Assault 2021. Let's start to move on out. Let's select the more. I've had a lot of fun playing this one. Every tower collection says. So there's a lot of um, controls. So I'm going to have to help you on the keyboard here. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, so objects, weapons, enemy. Credits, key, AI access, decryption chip, key card, there should be four of them around, med, med kit, ammunition, five kind of bullets, and power packs. Uh, there's a switch, you can be activated by pressing shift when standing close or shooting from afar. So you'll have to hit shift, the yeah, buttons key will card, work. Terminal. Yeah, key card, terminal. You have to have a special controller. Remember the special controllers I was talking about yeah. that plug in? Yeah. Yeah, we don't. Okay. But we do have a key. Uh, Keycard terminal can be used to unlock by pressing shift. Barrels. barrels. Weapons. Handgun. Pulse rifle. Shotgun. Rocket launcher and BFG. Enemies. Flying sentry. Threat low. Flying mine. Threat high. Armored sentry bot. Threat high. Oh, no. And there are the credits, which I have So, press the button, I think, to start. Okay. Yeah. No? Let's start. Uh, oh. Actually, let's start. There and is now. Waf Forward, O U H A F Forward Assault Camp. 31st Augmented Force Recon, preparing for deployment, losing the war. We're going to have to start. Nope. What's up? Okay, so this is a... I, we showed a bit of the developer's new engine the other day on the show. Remember that 3D? Mm. So this is their earlier iteration that they used in the game. So there's your weapons on the bottom. Let's press the button to shoot it. How do and, I switch between weapons? Uh, I have to okay. switch between weapons. Uh, it is... Oh, is it shift? You're, you're controlling it, actually. You're going yeah, to side. Yeah, I, I can strafe for you. We won't use strafe. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, it's the different numbers. So there's the second weapon. Uh, let's look down the hallway. Press the button. Shoot it. What? Shoot. That's a shot... Uh, no, pul pulse rifle. Three is the shotgun. Shoot it. Four is the rocket launcher. We have four of them. We'll use one up. Press the button. Shoot. I do, you don't. It's not on the rocket oh. launcher. Oh. Okay. Okay. And BFG. Boom. Okay. Let's switch to the one we have the most of. Sorry, let's what's BFG stand for? Big flipping gun. Gotcha. <laughs> it's from Doom. The pulse, pulse rice rifle will get you through 90% away of this game, lol. Oh, I saw something. There it is, shoot it! Low threat. Doesn't even go after you. Oh! Nice. Got it. It's like nice. skeet shooting. <laughs> it goes past your gun. Oh, what is that thing on the wall? Just a wall thing. Oh, just, just a thing. Oh, it makes noise. I'm going to turn or up the something sound. something in there makes noise. Something that's quiet. about to kill me. Oh, yeah. Oh, it does make noise when Very it passes the screens. Very impressive for an 8-bit, for a 3D full motion moving game. I have to say, these games sometimes make me feel a little nauseous. Oh, no. <laughs> I can take over. What is that? Oh, key card? Yep. Nice. Ammo. Oh, ammo for your pulse rifle. Nice. Perfect. So there is a map. Let me show that. Oh, there Stop. it is. Okay. Hmm. Not working. One second. There we go. So you need to go up. Okay. Up and all the way to the left up. for the door, or up and all the way to the right for devices or items. Okay. I would go up 
and then to the right and go for the it's items. This one? Yeah, and then to the right. I think just in that up, up in corridor. Yeah. 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 Let's look at the so map again. Okay, stop. No, let me turn around. Oh, you're. Oh. How did I end up there? I don't know. So there's supposed to be a door. Is that the door? Maybe you need the key card first. So wait. Uh, Having compass like direction is really nice for keeping oriented. Oh. oh, there they are. So you're going north. There it is. There. So what is that? Well, your hit points is full. So it was a. Uh, oh, I didn't get health. it. No, nope, can't take it anyway. Okay, well. Which is I... good, so it doesn't waste it, right? Yeah, yeah, but I'm I'm probably gonna leave, right? Yeah. So I need to get out. So, so you're going west, and then whatever is this that is. The door? So what? Uh, sh you can shoot. you put the map back on? So that is it. So I think you. Sh well, wait, they said put the map shoot back it. on again. Is that where I went in? The other pink? Oh, that might have been where you came in. Oh, so the other door. Yeah, this is where I came in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Confused. Confused. East. South. Was it over this way? There it is. That looks like a door. Right door. There we go. Shoot! Ah! I see he doesn't shoot, yeah. Yeah. That is an opening ah! you can shoot ah! with the launcher. Oh, okay. He so hit that... me! Oh, baddies. Something hit me. Did you kill that thing? I don't know. <laughs> ran away. Ran away. Hit or it exploded. Ran. It exploded, I think, uh, when it hit me. Let's look at the map. Okay, it's connected. Oh, very cool. So eventually the full screen will be filled up. Oh, the mine you hit took half your health. You hit a mine. Uh, I hit a mine? I No, he went after me. Hmm. I shot him. I tried. To hit there. Oh, I still God. got a decent oh, amount God. of health. Oh, God. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh. <laughs> the mines come after you if you're close enough to them. Oh, oh, so I was that's why I was in too close a proximity. Okay, so it blew up. It's a proximity. Yeah. Ah, was that a mine? No, that was okay. the other guy um that you mentioned at the beginning. Floating sentries shoot at you. Yeah. Okay. I didn't see that guy shooting at me, but So this been. is really like advanced to have a three D um, what is this? Well, it's not moving or shooting, so I would say pick it up. Might be a key card. Or it's nothing. Let's see. It's a device or item. Did you try and shoot it. Shift, hit shift. That's what it is. Hand go on, handgun ammo picked up. Good. Okay. okay. It's be... still there. Let's There's try and get it yeah, again. Yeah, no, uh, it's, it's... Nope, barrel empty. Um, that is a barrel. It's you a search barrel. for gotcha. items. Okay. Because no, I noticed there's certain things you interact with, like with a key card, or so I think if if you don't pick it up, then this shift will let you interact. With oh, okay. Um, Ammo in the barrel. I'm really terrible at this. I think I need the map. Okay. Where am I? Uh, so you go okay, south to the and left. a little bit, and then east. Okay. So you're going south now, and That's then turn. There you go. The barrels stay on the screen. The purple blue barrels are explosive, uh, as the name implies, blow up when you hit them with the weapon fire. So same as in Doom, you'll want to wait till an enemy is near them, purple if that's ones? possible. Okay. It's like a display. I don't think so. Ooh. 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 Is that something Good to thing? pick up? <laughs> uh, it's on the ground, so I'm guessing it is. Oh, shotgun, shotgun. ammo. Okay. The pink was the ammo. Oh, display. I like that the display has Computer sound. Computer terminals, yeah. That's amazing. Okay, now, what, 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 what is going on? You're too close to walls. I know. Point. I'm like, trying to turn around. Where am I? There you go. Where's my so out? Go, and then go That's right. That's a wall. I'm very there confused. There you go. There we go. I don't know about programming here, but a little color variation in the wall's ceiling might help. It, it does make it a little bit confusing at times. Yeah, fairly. Uh, fairly... It's not terrible, though, but no. uh, it is a little confusing at times. Yep, I like the that there's a north, really south, good. east, west, though. That helps a lot. That the map. compass helps a fair amount. Yeah. What's Something the map again? Are you still good? Uh, 
The newer version does darken the floors a little more, and the ceiling is a little different. Ivory Tower Collection. Okay, I says. need the map now. I'm really turned around. Oh, you're doing good. So go either north or south. Or you can go through that door if you go back. So you That's see where you are? Oh, I see the door. So you can go no, north, but I want to. So you're going west to... right now. Am I? Well, yeah. So go back to the map because I'm confused. So you have to go east. Okay, okay. Now I know. I, I needed to figure out my orientation there. So yeah. I need to go east. Yeah. East. And then it looked like there was then something. Oh, this way. oh yep. Oh. Definitely. Oh. Yeah, and a pickup. should be ammo. Hopefully, your pulse rifle. Mm -hmm. Pulse rifle. Now you got lots more. Sweet. Assuming this is just a small room here. Yep. The room with a computer terminal in the center of it. Mm -hmm. And then it back this way. Also, the author of the game kept the memory limits low so you can play this on the lesser 8 bits, if I recall. I believe so. I think this is a 64k. Is okay. Or are you saying it's a 48k? Because there's like three levels of games. There's 48k games, which run on everything. Then there's 64, which runs on the more modern ones. Then there's 128k, which runs on 130 XE, um, or upgraded machines. So a lot of people try and least restrict it to the Yay, 64. Yay, my exit. So let's is go that through that. Exit? Can you look at the map again? Because there was another pink There room. was another pink. Oh, so, so maybe they're pick. all connected. You can pick and go back and yeah. around. Yeah, that's cool. So let's just go into this one and sure. then check it out for a second and then we'll move on. This is astounding. Oh, oh. it's a, ooh, very Orangey. nice. Storage. Oh, so is this, oh, it's a storage room. You might find some stuff in it. There's anything. Very bright storage room. It's made of gold. A storage room of gold. Or copper. Yeah, it could be I'm copper. Copper's cool. Oh, that's where I came in. Yeah. What is this? That looks like a door that I can't go through. Um, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's stuff in the storage room. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's how you do it. So I think ITC said you shoot a rocket at those doors. The ones that are oh. kind of a crack in the wall, maybe. Ooh. Let's do that. Let's back up because I don't like to die. Yep. Things explode. That's always a. <gasps> oh, you went through. <laughs> I went through the door. Back through the door. There, nice. Oh boy. Ah. Shoot, shoot. Nice. Oh, that's very cool. They are connected, and further in there, there are switches you can find to open up additional doors. Graphics mode five. I'm guessing the weapon, wow. reticle, and objects are sprites because of the different coloring. Cool. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Can awesome. You? Okay. I think we... show the map. I just want to see the map. For this so area? it does show the extension of what you can see. Yes, everything um, you've seen. I open that door. So you can see at through the bottom. It. So you can see through it, That's and then cool. there's more passageways. That is so cool. Also clever to keep the exception of the map relatively small. Yes. Yeah. Because it can get very confusing if it's too big. Yeah. I feel like this this game is worthy of a very long playthrough because I have a feeling yeah. there's probably a lot to explore in this game. Oh, it has a timer too. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Neat. Yeah. Really nice. Very neat. Um, and very advanced for an 8-bit system to do a f full 3D game like this. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, okay, next game, we're going to be playing Flob, which we have played on the show. Did you play Flob at all? I Maybe. know we played it with Darcy. Maybe. Um, it's, all oh, these games are cool, of course, mm. but this is, you play a little blobby character. This sounds familiar. So Flob is by uh, Bosianu for the idea, code, graphics, sound effects, music by LISU, Micro, Aceman, PG, Zoltar X, hardware design and production by MQ. There you go. Select for achievements, help for credits. You might be able to press the button to start as well. Yeah. Select oh, world, yes. escape from the lab. We did play this game. Yes. yes. So this game's mechanic is you flip the world. Yes. You can you jump or can you only flip? I think you can only flip because uh, the button. Yeah, we'll find out soon enough. Yeah. So 
to your vlog. It is so cute. Oh. I love it when there's there's no regular doses of slimes. So you have to keep building yourself up. Flip only. Yes. Kotoko says this is written in Mad Pascal. Wow. So you think, oh, I can't jump, but you can flip. And you break out. So you have to keep building yourself up with the little flobby pieces. So you have to really rethink how the world works. That's a spiky thing. So don't. Oh, that's a spiky thing? Yeah. The, the green? Yeah, don't, don't land on that. I think that's just there to like show you, like, don't, don't do that. Yeah, don't touch anything green, I believe. These bright things look dangerous. You better avoid them. Boop. So you have to kind of plan like where you're going to go and how close you're going to get to it. And you don't want to flip into a green spot. Hey, Analog 1975. Anything that isn't pink is usually bad in this game. Yeah. Well, uh, anything yellow is definitely bad. Yeah. Oh, there's a little kitty under the there table. A kitty. It's a brown kitty. Oh. We were watching a video on brown kitties, but they're super, super, super rare. Like an actual fully brown cat. Great music. And great mechanics as well. Careful. Oh yeah, sometimes you have to move while you change positions as well. Whoa! Music reminds me of the games that Codemasters used to put out on the Nintendo. Yeah, we did a pretty, pretty decent playthrough of this and got through a number of levels. Yeah, this one's a little more challenging because you have to move when you... Yeah, I think you have to land on that top stair. You can land there and fall down on it. Oh, don't... Oh, oh no, we no, have no. to go right The other over. way. You have to go right over. Yeah. Doesn't mess with you a little. Oh, you go to the go all the way to the right, and then you can slide off of that. I think you might. Oh, <gasps> what? What? I don't think that was appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Not appropriate. Maybe don't do that tactic then. I think your blob somehow. Oh, I, I gotta, you got to be so careful. Yeah. I know. I've... It must have gone through the green. I think it did. Okay. So I have to go... Flip back. move. Not super quick, but medium quick. Oh. oh. Mm. Be too hard. And the interesting thing is you don't have lives in this. You have energy. And your energy is continually... Depleted. It was too close, I think. Yeah. That's where I came from. Okay, we're going out this yeah. way. Because <laughs> you don't have to get all of them. It's just good for your energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh... That was not so good. Flip and press hard to the right. Yeah, yeah. you have to hit. You have to. Yeah, right away. Very cute. Hey, analog. Oops. I like games like this. They're very puzzly. You just have to keep yep. keep add them until puzzle action. Mostly puzzle mm -hmm. this one, but I think it's actually pretty so fairly balanced. So I think balanced. you die if you're in a tight space, and you flip, you die. Because that's what oh. happened to me a couple of times. I thought I would so. slide over, and it didn't happen. Look at that cat. The cat's like, I'm not chasing that. That nope. doesn't look healthy. Blink, blink. Yeah. Blink. See? Yeah, that I was got a little weird. Squish. I feel like, yeah, you can get crushed, almost. Yeah. You're not careful. Like you hit certain things. Yeah. And... Oh. You have to kind of fall and go. Yeah. The fly was there when I was coming. Yeah. He does go in very uh, defined. Very defined pattern. Yeah. I think everything... I don't think there's, like, enemies that go after you after you in this. No. It's all... Patterns, yeah. Patterns. Can I get through that? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. But you have to be very careful. Yes. 
I didn't go that way, but I probably could have. I have to. There. No, no, you can't. Maybe, maybe that moves that leaves. There's alternate ways to get to everything. Mm. Or alternate ways to get to some things. Mm. And there's multiple paths, too. That. It's not yeah. a linear game. No. Oh, nope. <laughs> yes. That does remove itself uh, after yes. you complete a puzzle, I think. Uh, where do I... I go... Oh, yeah. You can go down, yeah. Yeah, this is where I got. Oh, yeah, I remember this. That was close. I thought it would disappear faster. Nope. Ah, oh, I, I, I pressed it twice accidentally. Oh my god. Energy. Which we haven't seen yet. Mm, you didn't. No, you didn't go through it. We did see it. Did we? Yep. Oh. But you didn't go through it. That's okay. A little bit of maze. Kind of. There. Oh. Okay. I kind of want to go to the hard. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Hi. What are you doing? He's knocking my... He's Hi. He's here. like, hello, can you feed me? Give hello? me... Hello? Oh! Ah. Ding, 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 tree time, please? Ah! ah that's close. what I was doing. What? He's hitting my leg. My yeah. bad leg. He's taken to uh, doing <laughs> what that. Doing? What are you doing? Come up here. Come up here. We'll give you I think some, you can hit we'll that telescope. Do you want some catnip? Oh, I think you can hit the telescope because it's pink. No. <laughs> no, I think anything bright, anything that's a bright color, you have to avoid. It seems. Oh. Ah. Escape from the lab. Big Dipper, you're looking for the oh, telescope. Oh, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, where was the next part? I like the hints and messages that pop up from time to time. They're almost a conversation. Oh, crying cat. Mm. You have to scare that mouse at some point, too. You do. Yeah. It's a bell or something that scares him? Yeah. Or am I not? Don't worry about it. It's okay. You're trying to figure out what you're doing. Uh, let's try and get that. Then we'll finish it. There's a door there. I don't know if that helps really hard. Yeah. Don't go any further. There! Yeah! Nope. Not a door. Not real. Getting back is actually harder. It is harder. Oh! Or you can just die. <laughs> there's nothing else to get in this room. I don't think. Nope. There's a key uh, guarded by a bat. There. Yeah. Uh... You haven't been... I couldn't get by that. You have to get that no, removed first. Right. Or where the next part is. There's lots of rooms we haven't been Welcome, Miss Command. Okay, well, we'll move on. Okay. We, we did a good run on this. We did. I, yeah, I do remember playing it. We played an extensive amount of it. Okay. Hey. So, the next game is Gakak by Janusz Jabowski. Jabowski. Jabowski? C-H is... Why? Um, and it. Oh, it's playing that song again. Gakak. Which is actually. Um, one second, let me load the newest one. Uh, Bomb Jack. Where the word Gakak comes from, I'm not sure. Yes, yes, yes. Super 
fine. I'm you so used to... You have to avoid to... the bad guys, right? You can't touch them at all. Yeah. And you want to get... Them if in you order? you can, in order, which is the order Hard. that they're flashing. Yeah. It is very challenging to do I mean, there's order. there's obviously a very clear path that you can take that would do that, but... Yeah. yeah, but there's the monsters. And you kind of the float, don't you? Uh, yep, you can control your floating. It takes a bit of getting remember, used to the floating. We did play this before, and I, I yeah. do remember it, it taking a little bit of Cause it's... practice. Is there a bad cat there? Yeah. yeah. Bad cat! Last remaining chew cable is there. Okay, let's give you some. I know it's not treat time, but I'm going to give you... <laughs> oh my goodness. No, you're not getting treats. We're going to give you a little bit of It can be treat time. Nip. Catnip! Almost. I think it's catnip. almost treat time. You can wait till somebody does it. I'll give him a little bit of catnip. We'll give him treats. If oh, okay. Here. Here. Oh, there's a pea. Uh, 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 uh. Here. Have a little catnip. He is desperate for treats right now. Yeah. Ring the bell! Ring that bell! <laughs> Gak -gak equals no, no. bat. Oh, thank you. There we go. For the definition. No, no, you, you. Catnip! Catnip for now. <laughs> Calorie free. Go Calorie for it. Free. Yum, yum, oh, yum. yay. Somebody Oliver. rescued you. Okay. You have nice. catnip, but we'll give you some treats too. Okay. Come here. Oh, spoiled for choice. So spoiled. Here. No, don't smack it in your paw. Here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sometimes going after them in order is a bad idea. Okay. I'm going to have to move this to the side now. Oh, my goodness. You make such a mess. Here. There you go. So on the uh, Commodore 64 version of this game, it uses a Jean-Michel Jarre song. Really? So I'm so used to Jean-Michel Jarre playing. Well, you'd play this while game. Well, I played this game. Yeah. <laughs> it runs in your head while you play it. Yeah. And I love Jean-Michel Jarre, too. Yeah. So that doesn't help. <laughs> That's so Ding! Yeah, the mechanic of flying in this game is very, very interesting and precise because you can s you can fly all the way to the top, but you can stop yourself at any point, mm. and you can also stop yourself from falling down at any point by pressing the button too, and you float. So you have a lot of control over your flying if you're good at it. If you're not, you die like me. Was the music licensed? Uh Good question. Uh, unlikely. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember any credit ever given to Jean-Michel Jarre. Ah! And it, it wasn't in the arcade, the Jean-Michel Jarre music. Ring the bell. You gonna ring the bell? Getting them in order is so hard. Smack it hard. Smack it. Smack it. He's like pushing it under him. No, oh. you have to ring the bell. I'm not. Kittens. Kittens. And the P for a power up it turns all the monsters. Ring the bell. Into nothing. Good kitty. But you can get. Good kitty. Why not both? That's what cat. That's what the kitty says. Why yes. can't I have catnip and treats? Oh god. The B just gives you bonus points. Yep. I care more about levels in games than points, depending on the game. Too. I should make that a pull. Or I may have already done it. I better get this guy. Nice. Yay! Round four. Okay. I'm doing not terrible. Oh, you love this game. Is that the flying uterus? <laughs> <laughs> I remember that from the oh, last that. one. Oh, yes. Oh, that's so funny. It is, if you want it to be. <laughs> ah! Oh, my God. Turned into a flying UFO. Super fast. Let's not do it in order if we don't have to. Smack it. Smack it. Oh! Come on, kitty. The guy was there just before. You can do it. I know you can. Okay, good <laughs> it enough. It did ring. Good enough. There you go. Is that the last one? Yeah. Okay, it's your turn. Okay. <sighs> Love the background of the castle in Germany. That's the yes. castle in Germany. Yeah, Is that it? it was known, I believe, for... like. A became noted for its background graphics in the arcade because they're super super highly detailed oh my gosh. and it was one of the first games that used like realistic graphics in the game 
And the gameplay is super fun, too. So to get to the top, you hold <sighs> down the button when you press it. It goes uh, right to yeah, the top. Yeah. And you let go anytime you want to stop going up. Oh so if goodness. you don't want to go right to the top, you can let go. And then if you're, when you're falling down, you press the button to stop falling down and you start gliding. Oh. Yeah, I have to care less about hitting them in order and more about not hitting other things. Yeah, don't care about the order right now. If you can, then do it. If you can't, ooh, it's dangerous oh, up there. Oh, it's so dangerous up there. Nostalgic says, I'm pressed, mm. impressed by the movement physics here. Your character moves fast and smooth, even at odd angles. Yeah, it's very, very fast and smooth. Oh, my goodness. Let's do it now. Press all the way. Go, go, go. Yay. Parthenon. Don't try and do them in order. Oh, I know. It's true. Game Our Atari 2600 dude says, I played this heaps back in the day in the arcades. I never played in the arcades. Um, only in on the uh, Commodore 64. Um, did I say who's done by? Yana Shabowski, Shanty 77. The, the longer you take, the more the screen gets filled with oh, enemies. Goodness. Go get that peep. That'll save you. Will it? Yep. You can kill the enemies now. For a little bit. Yeah, that's good. I like that. That's a nice... Just a little touch. Somebody did start doing this on the 2600, and it was actually a really decent version. Um, they had... The bomb collecting done, they had one enemy on the screen, um, non-moving, and you did die when you touched the enemy, so it was more like a proof of concept. Oh, gosh. Oh, you just missed it. You need that pee. I know. Ah. It's trying to get away from stuff. Um, so it had the bombs. It had a flashing bomb, I believe. Um, it was done by Playfield Graphics, the, the bombs. So it was very clever. Um, beautiful. It didn't have backgrounds because I, I don't know how you would do a background very well. Did the, were the bombs? Oh, he got me. Playfield? Maybe they were player graphics. And doing like. Hmm, can't remember. Um, but it was a very, very good first effort on it. And I really hope somebody continues on with it. I, it is on my my want list for games. Oh, oh. my gosh! Ooh. Oh my gosh, so care so close. So this is like New York? Chicago? Some big city in the US. Just a city with gigantic generic city. Gigantic uh, towers. You're getting in the hang of uh, the controls movement now, a little yeah. bit better, yeah. It is oh! I didn't see him. He was flashing. Well, blue in blue. A little bit hard. Nice. A bit, a bit further than I did. This is like the gimme level. Like straight up and down. Oh, Ooh, right into them. No, game over. I love the game over with all the color, too. This is LA. This is LA. I was going to sure. say. <laughs> That's 100% like on, LA. Up on the uh, Hollywood sign looking over the city. Or, or the, the Hollywood. What is it? The Hollywood Hills? I can't remember. And um, um, the, the, the Dead Man's. Observatory. Man's uh, no, but then there. No. Um, anywhere in the Hollywood Hills, you're yeah. looking down into the valley, right? Yeah, so. could be up at the observatory yeah. or it could be in the Hollywood Hills. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Should get the guys who did the kung fu backgrounds. Yeah. Yes. Some yeah. they did. Con some people contributed some backgrounds. Oh, like, really? Um, the Sphinx. They oh, did a nice. pretty convincing background for the Sphinx, but nice. it was never incorporated into the game. So. Yeah. Oh, I hope somebody continues that. Oh, the cat is high. The cat, cat is high. Is there, high. you get to see the cat being high while I change games to uh, Prince of Persia, which we're going to use a keyboard for yeah. because it's a lot easier using a keyboard. Yeah. Um, do you want to do it, or do you want me to play you, you it? You play it. Okay. I think uh, we played this before, didn't we? we oh, yeah, ex yeah. Extensively and embarrassed ourselves. Yes. Quite a lot. It's a very... It's it's a puzzle game, um, Well, I would say, more than anything it's else. It's a platformer, though. I mean, it is puzzles, it's but puzzle it's... a puzzle disguised as a platformer. Yeah. <laughs> because there are very precise movements and specific things you have to do in the mm -hmm. game. To get from platform to platform, 
to trigger things and move them move in a specific way so it's like action platform puzzle hmm. game it's it's quite a combination with rotoscoped movement mm. um and if you look it up online you can see like the i'm gonna speed this up one thing you can do in emulation press f1 <laughs> and speed it up oh, look at so it's got even got like a demo intro it's crazy sought after unicorn for the Atari. Nice. <laughs> Pretty much. Look at that spinning Atari symbol. Prince of Persia. Nice. Jordan Mechner. Might as well read this up. Uh, by Rensub Constantinos Miker. Oh. Rensub Programming Constantinos Geomalidis. Geomalidis? Um, character art in Princess Room, Micah for Music Bank 1, Sound Effects Bank 1, Vince Cool, Music Bank 1 and 2, MK, Sound Effects Bank 2, uh, Makari, Sound Effects Bank 1, Super Rune, title picture, well not this, when we get to the game, uh, DMSC, Sound Player, XXL, Dex, uh, Disc Loading, uh, and he credits a bunch of other people that made different parts of the game happen, so let's get into it. And you can pick which sound effects you want for the mm -hmm. game and which music you want for the game at that screen that I just passed by. Incredible demo screen, you know. Mm -hmm. So we finally got, well, finally plugged in the power supply for our laptop. Oh, yeah. So the cat doesn't chew the laptop cable anymore. Well, that's oh, good. Let's speed this up. Oh, little mousey. Oh. It's a big game. Oh. Game by Jordan Mack. Nice. That's the original artist, mm. uh, developer of the game. Of, of Prince of Persia. Yeah. Mm. There's the title screen. What's oh, called? Cat open the door. I know. <laughs> it's letting the cold air in. In the Sultan's absence, the Grand Vizier Jafar rules with the iron fist of tyranny. Only one obstacle reigns between Jafar and the throne: the Sultan's beautiful young daughter. Throne room, I'm guessing, high up top of tower. Dun -dun. Mm -hmm. Same same music as in uh, Karatika or Karatika. Dun -dun. <laughs> and the same kind of um, screens as well. Yeah, I love the detail in the screen. Oh. It's beautiful. Flickering torches. The, the time. torches, like all the sheets on the on the the oh, bed, they're or not straight. They're everything's all disheveled. straight, and yeah, and like the, the even the movement and like the the curtain and um, the folds and the curtain. And Marriage of art or it's die beautiful. within the hour. You have an hour to play this game. I know it's crazy. It's not enough time. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! There's all the credits. So we're good with that. Stick we'll with leave the it on defaults. Stick with the defaults. Oh boy, here we go. Someone mentioned the green pillow in the lower left remind them of Populous. Oh, I've never mm. played Populous. It seems like a game you would play. Populous? It's like a overview game where... Oh, it's the demo. Um, uh, like Civ? Oh, okay. I think yeah. similar to Civ. Similar or, to SimCity. Uh, SimCity. I think it's more SimCity. Weirdly, never got into SimCity, or... I think you would like it. I think I would. I just... Oh. It's not a game I played, which is odd. I love Civilizations. Played that to death in the in the late 90s. Oh, my God. How do I get out of this? Escape. <laughs> oh, I think the problem is the input is on. Yes, that's why. Oh, it's on the, on the gamepad. Yeah, there we go. Oh. That's why I couldn't get past it. Sim City 3000, an awesome soundtrack. Mm. Had an awesome soundtrack. Isometric, isometric God Sim, in which you're trying to help your tribe thrive, thrive against, against another. So that's Civ. That's Civ. That's very Boils similar. Boils down to Civ. Yeah. Okay. Now I think I'm starting. There we go. So. Um, let's see if I can remember all the keys. Yeah, it's, it's mastering the movement. That uh, Look at those torches. They're great. Up is jump, 
down his crouch. Um, damn it. How do you move forward just a little bit? You have to hold the button while you move forward. Oh, it's control. It's, it's a totally different button. Oh, no. <laughs> Did we play it with a we played it with a joystick before, didn't we? Yeah, we did very poorly with the joystick. Yeah, but I don't know if we're gonna. Sorry, <laughs> it takes a bit there of time. And then the jump up and catch, I think, is a or, or turn around and drop. Right? There's a drop. Yeah, there's a drop there for you down. Go. And to the right, there is a bad guy. Let's just go look at that bad guy for a second. We don't have a sword, so we can't go after him yet, because that's kind of the end of the level there, I believe. Mm. So you have to go get the sword first. Keyboard controls are not good on this one on the actual hardware. Yeah. Oh. On this, yeah, because there's conflicts, I think. You can't press two things at a time so or something. So you kind of need the, the... Yeah. You have to run and jump, don't you? On this one, I think you can just jump. Hmm. Oh, it's not that far. Bonk, bonk. <laughs> bonk that head. Um, so... No, 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 no. Oh, oh my God. Uh, is this what I did? No, no, I think I die down there. I think you have to run across. I think across. it's this. I go on this. And then you run across. And it's up to jump? Oh, it's space to jump. Get in there quick. Get in there. When that collapses, yeah. Now, is there something down here? Mm. Read. Uh, ivory Tower Collections. Uh, there isn't really a way to do careful steps with keyboard control on the actual hardware. Just have to keep doing squats to move forward carefully. It makes run jumps not possible. Yeah. Oh, squats. And it says, yeah, Ivory Tower Collection oh. says, I, I was told it was because with the exception of keys designed for it functionally, the Atari 8 bits can't really read two buttons at once. Right. So. Oh, oh what was this? You, oh, I think you I have, have to, to jump, uh, jump over. So you have to hit it and then jump I... over that second. To wait till it goes up because I got off of it and it slammed. No, down. it slams down because you hit a button on the other side, oh. so you have to run and jump. Yeah, yeah, run and jump. Ah, oh, or fall to your death. I pressed it. <laughs> it's all about timing, too. Because... There's a lot of falling to your death in this game. Yeah, um, oh my god, I, I know it's that. you always just start over, which is so painful, too. <laughs> I think yeah, either 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 side is fine. What was that noise? Did Go get it. Noise? Attack. Is there a cheat code for this? Uh know. yes there is. Is there? Yeah, to to skip forward levels. I don't I mean we just he, want to he show revealed it off, right? it. The other Oh did did about a month ago I think he Ivory revealed Tower? what it was. Oh the the person the, the um the developer. developer. Yeah, fair enough. Ah and, and to your death. You have to anticipate the jumping. Yeah, you, you have do. to do it well before. Yes, yeah. And and kind of do it a second before you need to do yeah. it because of the way um, the animation works. I feel like this is one of those games that uh, you watch someone play it and you go, "Oh, that looks easy," and then you try it, and because it takes such a, a it takes a while a to master the controls. Yeah, it's it's really frustrating when you first start playing it. But, yeah. Um, it's cool. It's a cool game, oh, and it looks cool. amazing. It's... So you have to press it like there, like yeah. well before that pillar. Yeah. Bunk. Bunk. Just keep smacking your head into it. So this is another jump, so I have to yeah. do it there. Yeah. I just have to remember that when I'm doing my doing my running and jumping lots of platforms that fall there there we go yay i didn't die in the pit of death okay uh, that's a run and jump for yeah. sure
<gasps> oh, there's now, your sword. 55, thanks, 55 minutes left. Yeah. <laughs> so this one, you turn around and you hold the button to hold onto the ledge. And we were having trouble with that last time. Oh yeah, I was struggling with that. Because you you have to hold it, hold onto the button until you're ready to not hold onto the ledge. Because Yay. some you have to um, go up multiple ledges. Is the cat playing? Well, sometimes we can get him to smack buttons or joysticks, which is very funny. Oh, this. I don't you have think to I'm, jump across? I don't think I'm going to attempt this. <laughs> yeah, you have to jump. Do you? No. Oh, is this death? Uh, no, I think you have, to, you have to get it from the other side. I think it's just showing you where it is. This is death. There's no jumping across. Okay. <laughs> I, I think it... Uh... It can yeah. only reset games, yeah. Uh, Atari's just involved in the rage resetting. Yeah. Usually he doesn't hit the buttons. He just forces There's us to rage reset. down there? I, can't I think you go up. Or maybe. Yeah, probably. Oh. Something down over here. Probably. I'm getting... Oh, there's death there. Yeah, you have to walk slowly over it, right? No. Or you can jump. Oh, oh okay. there's nothing. Or is nothing? there something past that? I don't think so. Bonk. Nope. Oh, you can just wow. see where you fall to your death at one point. Yeah, you have to slowly walk. You can jump over them, but I'm going to demonstrate slowly walking over them. Yeah. Because you're able walk to through carefully them. walk over the over the spikes. Atari's on kitty uppers right now. He is. <laughs> yes. Snacks and uppers. Yeah. Full of food, aren't you? He's so happy. I don't know if you can hear him purring, but he's purring like a crazy cat. So happy. Purring like a crazy cat. Okay, let's go up. Here's the ledge. Yeah, there it is. Wasn't on the other side. Yeah. Mm, I think maybe you crawl up on that no. side. Go up. What? Oh no. Yeah, it just go back where I came from. Yeah. Because now I have the sword to fight. I think you have to get up. Like there's somewhere where you go up, right? Uh, I don't know. No. Oh, to get that health. I'm yeah. at full health. So. Or or does that? I can't remember. You jump and hang. Oh, oh you no, did it. Oh, just not job. quite far enough to jump and hang. If it was one more, I would have to do that. Hmm. Maybe we did miss that. I don't know. I have to go back and fight. Let's the at guy, least right? fight the guy. Yeah. I think that would be a good spot to stop. Oops. Oh. Ouchies. Oh, there's something down there. Okay. Yeah. Death. Well, no, it falls. It falls. There's yeah, a plank. but then I fall too. I don't want to start this. You don't over. have to fall. No, you just not happening. Run across and back, and then drop yourself down, right? Uh, to turn around is not enough time. Oh, it's really? It's gonna fall. Oh. Yeah. Maybe there's a way, but I'm not skilled enough You're to just, do it. Yeah. Need to put a mic on a tire suit. Oh, sure. that would be super cute. I do have a lav mic. Do you? <laughs> oh, do I have to? No. Oh, it's that that One button at the up there. Yeah. yeah, I think so. So I could hang it around Atari's neck and he'd chew it, and there would be two hundred dollars gone. <laughs> <laughs> he needs his little. He needs his little um, bow tie. I think his bow tie. That would be super cute. We'll see if we can get his bow tie on during the awards. Oh yeah, yeah. But he'll probably tear it off pretty quick. So we'll have to put it on and put him on camera right away. You can make him a little um, uh, zero page cat tag or something. Shiny Aww. cat tag. You want a cat tag? <laughs> no. He's like, I don't want to wear a collar. I'm an inside cat. I He's don't like, need He's like, I like being okay, ready. How around. do you? Oh, I better practice. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Only had one life left. That's okay. So, as you can see, pretty awesome game on multiple levels. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, and now we're on to the last Atari 8-Bit 5200 game, which is... Press the Action, yeah. Press Action. Uh, which is The Children by Victor Parada. Nice. Vitoko. And he oh. was pleasantly surprised what to have... What was that for? What? Did he smack, smack you? Me. Oh, it's a zipper. It. He's not an angry cat. No. <laughs> He's smacking. <laughs> Are you high? Yes. 
Is that zipper gonna because attack I you? Because I believe the children was a ten line program. Really? I believe. If, wow. Um, Batoko's name. Batoko. I, I didn't see Batoko's name, but so. he he is. He was here in the was in the, he in the beginning? Oh, okay. So the children. Let me go back to this controller now. Mm -hmm. Cat. So this is a um, start up. Go for it. Or not. A, B, A. Oh, I have to put it back onto that. That's right. Uh, input methods. Oh, right down here. Gamepad. Okay. There you go. So this is A, puzzle, 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 puzzle. Oh, can you get rid of that pop-up? Oh, I can't it's read very everything. hard when you have a cat in your lap. It is. There we go. Yes, this is a 10-line basic game, and what? it made it into the finals, uh, the, uh, which, is, which is pretty great, pretty amazing that he was able to fit. And it goes, it's going up against a 128K game, which is crazy. This is so cute. I can't believe this was it's programmed in 10, 10 lines. Wow. Like all the levels, all the logic, all the graphics. What, what what is this game? It's Pit Cat, right? It it's uh, what's the original name of it? Um, hmm. is oh, it Pit I think Cat. I think I did that wrong. Pit Cat. Can you go back? Uh. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. okay. Yep. Mm. Yeah, this one's a little what little bit trickier. Do Pit Man, that's it. Pit Man's the original. And you're fine. Yeah. Fine. You can do that too. Yeah. Put it on his head. <laughs> Baby Yoda doesn't mind. Baby Yoda. That's Baby Yoda, and it's uh uh um, what's his face? Who is that? The Mandalorian or Mand it is? Mandalorian. Uh, Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Ah, yeah. See, we don't have <laughs> Disney Plus, so unfortunately, we sadly are. Not aware deprived of, of of the storytelling <laughs> yeah. but um it was also a basic game mando and grogu ah there you go hi hi kitties so yeah in this game uh the object is to hmm. nope 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 who said oh no? you still can do it okay there's more than one way uh, the object is to get Grogu, <laughs> apparently. Um, and uh, there's platforms that you can make disappear, like that one, I believe, by walking over it, just like in the previous level. Oh, it's a floating one. Oh, that, that's not what I But you needed to do that. No, no, no. Oh, do I? You do. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha. So you have to use If it's backwards, some... it's floating then. Okay, fair enough. So there's some pieces you dig away here. Yeah, and then you do some it. Some boulders you push. And then you do it from the other side. I get it. This one's a little trickier than it seems. S.T.O. What is that? Hmm? Similar play to Million Molly. Yeah, and similar play, play to Pit Cat Pit as Cat well. Pit Cat is what I was On thinking. the 2600. And Million Molly on the 7800. See? Oh, oh, yes, that's right. And push it to the left. Then move to the left, and then push that to the right, and then you're not going to. Oh make shit! It. No, I was that I miscalculated that. Oh man, okay. I think I have struggled on this level before. It's uh no 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 I, there's definitely ways of doing it. Is a level data compressed tile data? Is each level a bunch of plot and draw to statements? Mm. Good question. Oh, oh, hmm. There you go. Yeah, it's just... Because you don't want to push the boulder to the right. Yep. My turn. Okay. Ah, Very cool. One. We need a Mandalorian game. <laughs> so I think you do that or yeah. not. Oh, God. Oh, they fall down, but... Nope. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> I think you can push so push the boulder to. to the bottom, can't you? I can push it to there. No, but you can't go across. You just, yeah. Nope. No, that doesn't help you. Uh, uh, I think you need to push I, it. I either have to go left. 
or go right. That's the only two options I have right now. And I oh, either push. Oh, I push on him. I know how you him, do it. Right? I know how you do it. Yeah. No, no. What are you doing? No, 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 no. You don't go down. Okay. Push it over, over, oh, over, all the over. Way. Yeah. Oh. And then go down. And then do that, and then do it again. Yeah. Ah. A little more complicated than I thought. Yeah. A little bit more of a pattern to run yeah, through. Because you have to let them drop. Oh, you can go to the bottom. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't do it the last. Oh, you could still push it all the way over. Uh, no, because you can't get. Oh, yeah. You, you, yeah, you could actually. Yeah, you're right. Nope. <laughs> um, go over one. To the left. Uh, if you go to the one to the right, then kick it to the right. Can't kick that to the left. You can't? No. Nope. Because oh. there's a ladder there. Then you have to go up the ladder and kick oh. it. Oh. Go up. Uh, yeah, that works. No, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. that works too. No. Push push the boulder off them first. Oh, yes. You keep going down. I'm like, <laughs> ah, don't do ah. that. <laughs> okay. So this one. I push could the boulder push off. Push the boulder first. Yeah. Or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then. Uh, go under, under two. Under two, yes. And then kick and then the go... boulder. <gasps> Yeah. Oh, no. No. Nope. Messed up. Okay, so let's do this again. We'll finish on this level. This can go on forever. I don't know how many levels there are. Okay, I need help on this one. Uh, uh, oh, um, you can get under it but then you have to kick one over you don't want to kick one over I so don't want to go under right now because that'll just drop down and you won't be able to, well i could move it no so you can kick one over easily yes but you kind of want to kick two so how do you hmm i start off th on this after seeing million molly and pit cat from last year's homebrew awards ah maybe you hmm can't kick that if i go so under kicking one over is easy yeah but i have to get that one boop boom and as soon as i can't get back over the ladder as soon as i oh boy what if i hmm. maybe it starts earlier i don't know no that doesn't make sense i think you're even more screwed <laughs> that's even more screwed um <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Try something else. So I can't go under, definitely. So that means I either go above it, which I don't think that's it. I, you I know, think you, can't. you do push I this. think you have to... You could put it on top of him. I could. But oh, but then... Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. No, because no. the the... It's that rock yeah. on the left that you have to somehow get over. <laughs> Push that one over to the hole, then go under the other one so you can go on top to get Groku. Oh. So you just do that. Then you do that. Oh, no. No, you still can't now push can't, it over. You can't push it because there's dirt there. Yeah. If you if you go over, you're stuck on you're the done. other side. Yeah. So that is... Maybe I misinterpreted uh, his... Uh, Hmm. If you oh, I know, I know. Put it on top. Oh. Then you do this. Then you do this. Yes, there we go. Yay! So that did help me, ITC. I don't know if that's what you suggested. Oh, they're backwards. Oh, you can still get them. <laughs> anyway, they, we're not going to continue on. Oh, they're floating ones. Yep, they float when they're they're not facing you. I'm just gonna fail because yeah, I've already fine. I've already lost. There we go. <laughs> oh yes, that's basically what I was trying to say. Yeah. Uh, excellent. So super fun game made in ten lines of basic. Oh, my really? God. Crazy. Initially, like the first level, or no, the whole game. Really? All the levels, all the graphics. All the logic wow. made in 10 lines. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's an achievement, Vitoko. That's it amazing. Is. But it's a, such a great, great game. Oh, I see. I started this after seeing Millie and Molly and Pit Cat from last year's Homebrew Awards. 
This is great. So just one second. I need to take care of something. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to move on to look at the packaging right now. Yay. So I can shut you down Altira. Oh, he's packaging. very calm now. He, he was so excited earlier. Oh, he's calm? Well, that's good. Yeah. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Oh, that works pretty oh, well. Decent. Uh, uh, you can see most of it. Yeah, so we'll try this. Good. Okay, so... It starts with Packaging for Asteroid Chasers by Frederick Descharmes. Descharmes? Descharmes. Descharmes. Uh, Fadist uh, Deluxe Artworks by Bagus Yulianto. Regular Artworks by Picky Picus Superstar and Upliak. 3D Asteroid Model by Harlequin. Nice. There's the uh, front of the box, nice. distributed by yes, Yatsuna, yes Tuna Games. There's the back. Yes Tuna sounds like Yes, yes. Tuna, and that looks yes, like a cat. Yes Tuna. Yes Tuna Games. <laughs> the kitten is saying Yes Tuna. Yes. Cats definitely enjoy packaging. Yes, they do. And that one's number nineteen out of fifty-five. There's the inside, very colorful. Uh, very colorful. I like the orange and blue and the yeah space the theme. Contrast. Yeah. There's the inside, very the nice. deluxe version. <gasps> there's the rocks. Get your asteroids. Yeah. And Limited time. Yeah. Made by Harlequin. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh, looks like it's available for Lynx and Game Boy. Very but nice. we're looking at the Lynx. It comes with some cards. tiles, some cards. And the rocks. I guess you oh, play it looks like you, oh, a little mini game that you play along because with. Because it could be played as a card game, too. Oh, really? We'll be playing this in a How second. How cute. Okay. Uh, so this is from Dagger Quest. A Bilani, and this is um, actually a 2600 game. Okay. And it was quite elaborate, and it involved the real world. And you actually hunted for treasure. Really? In the real world, using clues from in the game, I oh, believe. Okay, okay. Um, oh, look at that. Came on floppy <laughs> for your 2600. I don't know why. It's so exciting seeing her it came on disc. CD as well. Uh, there's the cartridge. Uh, comes with a compass to find your way. There is the prize, I believe. I love is it. the sword. Oh wow. Um the dagger. Yeah. In the dagger quest. Comes with a map up there. Comes with a box. There's everything all gathered together. I think it was fairly limited edition because of all the boxes and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um and there's some coins for the treasure. Uh use Stella. There's the chest closed up. There's the compass. Comes with a map. See the map up at the top corner there. Look the at those boxes. The How wow, elaborate. elaborate. Very yeah. elaborate. There's another dagger. Nice. There's a lot of pictures. <laughs> dagger quest. I like it. Dagger quest. And there's the map. Banded Heating Plant, Whip City, Unicorn House. So I'm, I think the this mm -hmm. is actual, I think it relates to real world oh, location. Really? Uh -huh. Somewhere. Not sure where. Might be in Britain. You wake up, all you can see is trees. You don't remember how you got there. only thing you remember is that you had a dream in which you saw a shiny gold dagger whisper to you, find me. And you want to find it. Nice. Dagger Quest Bialani is a real adventure where you have to use... Warsaw you, in Poland. Warsaw in Poland. Ah, uh, excellent. Well, you'll have a chance to find the treasure. Find a treasure. Use Whip of Time and Eye of Truth and the prize will be at your fingertips. Um, and the prize has already been claimed. Okay. <laughs> so that was part of the the quest to find. Okay. Uh, that's... Um, Protected in paper. its plastic box. There's a little hint on a bench. Ah, uh, nice, nice. Yeah, X marks the spot. Uh, the okay. next one is Kung Fu Combat 2 by nice. Edward Smith, E.A. Smith, Kevin Mosley, graphics, and Michael Thomason for packaging. So, really, Michael Thomason is up for this. Um, so, there is the uh, box in a plastic case. Mm -hmm. Now, you get some headbands with the game. 
and the manual and the cartridge very colorful this is the one that had the beautiful uh, graphics oh, backgrounds oh yes very i detailed recognize play it field I, I don't think i've ever seen the packaging for it it's quite beautiful quite the nice. packaging too yeah goes very nicely with the actual graphics in the game yeah it's like look at that temple in the background there beautiful wow yeah kung fu combat there's, there's everything all together mm -hmm. and there's the headband everything all together next one is robot war 2684 by champ game john shampo and nathan strum on graphics i don't know if nathan strum did the artwork i don't have a note for this on mm. here okay I think that's been updated might be um oh i can't remember his name um so there's the cover and the back of it looking very awesome beautiful again beautiful contrasting and bright colors yep. purple red purples and green yellow uh, purples and uh pinks and the yeah bright yellow Some blues in there terrifying robots terrifying. <laughs> yep there's the end label for the cartridges nice. there's the actual cartridge um because this was available physically available at a um retro gaming convention okay already in limited supply unlimited and yeah. then um an unlimited run will be through atari age uh there's ynxa by frederick de charme fetus deluxe artwork by margarita gadrat regular artworks by macro vector bishop samuel 30th edition 30th edition artwork by kevin mosley and 3d pyra pyra pyramid by egg prof nice there's the cover yes tuna games yes tuna yes tuna <laughs> uh, the temples the prologue the pyramid there it is on the links running on the links nice yeah, this is for the links sorry <laughs> i should be announcing what platform well, yeah <laughs> we're just we're just uh, enthralled with the uh design of the, there's the pyramid and the packaging. cartridge oh look at that yeah there's nice. close up of the pyramid nice uh, and there's everything laid out and the cartridge can stand using the pyramid oh. which is kind of a cool option that is very cool i like that map way to display your cartridge yeah there's a bunch of maps and finally zark stars a space saga by leandro camara for 2600 uh programming design soundtrack hitor Masail programming consulting vivienne pesabes design and text consulting and kenny schmidt cover illustration so kenny's on this very nice There's again uh, the beautiful very color colorful. uh the beautiful color contrast the white cartridge with yeah. the grips oh, on it oh yeah 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 you get a coaster the zark stars coaster Maybe a sticker nice um the manual yeah uh oh a uh, poster as well wow yeah very very nice space i like shot. that crazy floating head there with yeah the evil head evil that's head. that's the thing at the end of the level yes uh t-shirt nice for zark stars i think that's optional it doesn't come necessarily with the game it's, but it, it is you can order you can it, order it as game. well very nice so there's another shot of everything there you go very nice there's the packaging i'm very excited about that that's very cool it looks really good mm. i mean the best of the best are going to be really nice packaging mm. so we're going to move on to the last category okay which is atari lynx best homebrew awesome uh, i've got six entrance entries in this so um a lot of these games are not released on binary in their final format okay a lot of them go to cart on their final format so we're going to be playing a mix of videos and earlier versions mm -hmm. or earlier versions of the game or earlier editions of the game that it's going to be a mix okay of, of things so just have to forgive that so I'm loading up the emulator. And the first game is going to be Asteroids Chasers. Um, let me... One second. Okay. No, I don't have a video for this. So we do have a game for this. Asteroids Chasers. Bring that over now it was not cooperating going full screen so we're going to be looking at this size which is not too bad let me just center that asteroids chasers we'll turn on yep joysticks on 
good. So, turn it down a little bit. So this is by Frederick Descharmes, Fadist, based on Cheese Chasers Card Game by okay. Brian McMillan. Graphics by Templeton and Fadist. Music by Sampo Rintanen, <laughs> aka Turbo Laser Links. Nice. This is on the links. So we're going to be playing easy. I think you need to adjust the uh, controls because I don't seem to have any. Let's take a look. Oh, <laughs> oh I think I have to be focused on it. Oh, I see. Yeah. Actually, we're going to okay. take a look at... Credits? I think it starts with the credits. I'll be right back. You're leaving. Okay. No, just momentarily. Okay. How to play. I'll have to catch her up. Uh, uh, your purpose is to place every tile of the game. Tiles must be placed horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. Oh, this is handy. Yeah. Handy version... 0971. This is so old. Is there a newer version of it? I mean, it works, so. 2012. My God. So I went looking for an emulator, and this is the one that was recommended. Uh, Perks to place every tile. Um, play proceeds until all the tiles have been placed, played, or no moves remain. The end of the game. The player wins when all the tiles are played. If no legal moves are available and all tiles are not played, yet played, the game is over. If three active minds are in the playing area, the game is over. Losing means a score of zero points for the game. Oh boy. So, win or lose. Uh, an active probe gives one point. Asteroids give one point for each probe adjacent to one of its four sides. At the end of the game, the bonus is calculated. If an asteroid is surrounded by four active probes, it gives ten points. If multiple asteroids are adjacent, surrounding all sides, the bonus is double. Your goal is to get the most from asteroids. Each asteroid adjacent to an active probe gives one point. Asteroid or ground ground of asteroid surrounded by active probe give bonus points. Asteroid one point, asteroid four points, bonus ten points. You want to surround the asteroids. Probes are your main work units. They can mine asteroids, but also they can deactivate mines to extend play. So you'll game over if there's four, three mines. So you want to surround them with the probes. Pirates attack your probe. Each probe adjacent to a pirate is deactivated. If an inactive probe gives zero points and is useless for asteroids or mines. Mines are the biggest threat of the game. If three mines are active at the same time, you lose the game. The only way to deactivate a mine is surrounded by four active probes. So you got to get those probes around the mines right away. Bigger asteroids, two points or five points. That's three levels of asteroids. Mm -hmm. Hyperspace probe. A hyperspace probe can move to every empty space near the playing area, horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. Purpose, okay, come through the tutorial. So we have, it starts off with a probe, and then we have an asteroid. So we want to surround the asteroid okay. horizontally and vertically to get a point. So we place that there. Now we've got an extra point because we're mining that one. So we've got a pirate. And we don't want to put that next to the probe because it'll deactivate it. Okay. So we want to put it somewhere else. Like, if well, we you're put it there... in three-dimensional, or in two-dimensional two dimensional. space, sorry. And, if we um, put it there, that's probably best. Uh, and we have another one, and then unfortunately. You move it. Oh. Uh, so we might as well put it there. You can't put it next to it, but you can put it diagonally? Well, we can put it there. Yeah. So we've got another asteroid, which we need to... Um, we can only put it in limited spaces. I can't move down. can't move down. can't move to the left either. Ooh, I can put it there. It's a puzzle game, basically. It is. It's a tile-based puzzle game. So let's put it there. Okay. We've got another one. You can put it there, no? Uh, I can. There. Yeah, sure. Oh, I've got another one. Oh, my God. Kittens? What are you doing? Oh, I'll put it there. So mine. So I have to surround this with four ships to deactivate it. And How? It, uh, four probes. How do you get ships? You can put it there. Uh, uh, let's put it there. Okay, so watch this. I put a probe there, okay. which will give me a point for the one above it, yeah. the one to the right, and it'll start surrounding the mine. 
And then I put one there. I'll get a point for the, okay. the mo uh, point for the asteroid, and it'll another one contributing towards deactivating that. Then I put one there, and this should deactivate the mine. You shall not explode. There we go. Huh. So I've got another this guy. I can only put him in. Can you not put him above? No, Next it doesn't the other let pirate? me. I think I have to put things beside a probe. No, I can't pull one up there. No? I'm limited. Oh. It didn't really explain where you can put tiles. Well, if you put it, if you deactivate the probe next to it, the mine is still okay. So if you put it up to there, it'll get rid of the ship to the right, and I'll lose a point. But You'll lose a point, it but there, it won't deactivate the mine, or it won't activate the mine. No. Oh, you can put it there, and it won't do anything okay. to that ship. Gotcha. So, so I want to put this. Put it there. Can put it there. I don't want to do that. So I don't you're want to just put it like there. Filling space. I don't want to put it. I could put it there. But yeah. then it's deactivated. Yeah, but not there. Not so there. It's fine there. So I'll do it there. Because then I can put this there. And it's already got two around. Excellent. Or I can put it up. No, I can't do it to the right. I'm not understanding where you can place it. Could you not put it? In, no, on the left. There. Oh, I could. Yeah. And then it'll get three. Nice. Yeah. Very smart. Can I put it to the right? Oh, I can't. Jo Joffrey Miller. First time chatted. Thanks for this program. So Well, thank you for you. watching. Yes. We didn't make it, but we are playing it. Yeah. <laughs> so I can't put it... I have very limited space. I think you have to go next to where you last put it. I think that's oh. what, it's, what it's restricting you to. Does that make sense? Maybe. Because yeah. you can't stray far from where you, it no. first appears, right? So I pretty much have to put it there. Yeah. yeah so. Oh, and another one. Yeah, let's test that Put a space, out. though. Put a space so that you can put an asteroid if right, you have to. Yeah, right there would be good. Yeah. Nope, not for you. Oh, another one. Uh, there. Ooh, can I put it up here? Oh, the Toko said, this game is playable on the webpage. I recalled I tried this. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, you do have to put it beside. You want you want it beside. Can you move up? No. No. Yeah, because that's the last one I played. Was the yeah. one to the right. There's an asteroid. Now you can put it in the middle. Can yeah. you? No. I can't. Oh. Well, cause... you can put it there though. Oh, because I moved too far away. Yeah. Interesting. And I'll put that yeah, one there for sure. And I'll put that one there. Yeah, sure. So I can't. So you just keep going until you. Screwed, it, screwed yourself or over. Or I can put it there, and then I'd put a... What if you get a pirate, though? Well, it doesn't matter if you in inactivate one. I can put it there. Yeah. Oh, and another pirate. Next I can put one. it there, but then I'm in the middle of... Yeah. I can put it well... there. Oh, that'd be good. So then I can put one there. And I can put one there. Oh, now you've got a mine. And then I deactivate it. Mine. Ooh, can I put it? Oh, no. It needs to be surrounded by four, right? Yep. That's good. Put it there. Oh, no, I can put it here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, victory. Now you are a real gamer. Da da da. <laughs> is this game playable on a web page? Oh, is oh, this? Oh, I don't know. I recalled I tried this. I, I thought you were saying you did. I can see this being a web a web game. It's it's very like static and it doesn't yeah. it's not animated, it's yeah. not got a lot of moving parts. Yeah. What are you crying about? Oh you can do undoes. Oh. So thirty nine points, not bad. Good job. So uh do you want a game or should we move on? I think we should move we should on because it seems you, you read all the instructions yes, and I, I missed did. a little bit of that. Okay. So, yeah. I think you caught up. That was a question. Sorry. To talk oh, about. I'm not sure. Uh, no. Don't know. Since it's based on another game, you might be able to find a variation of it mm. that somebody's made because you can change those characters into anything. True. Like there's enemies, there's the things same. that can blow up, and there's things that are good and the things that you use to mine them. In a weird way, it reminded me of Minecraft, and I don't know why. Where you, where you, but really? anyway. No, because you're. It's the opposite. You're putting things in instead yeah. of taking things away. But uh... so the next game is Raid on Tri City Second Wave. 
So we don't have second wave, but we have first wave, but we can okay. play a video okay. of second wave. Okay. So let me... So we just have the first wave. Yeah. Okay. First impact, it's called. First impact. Nice. So let me just bring that up and hopefully that will pause it. So is Handy specifically for Lynx games? Yeah, it's a Lynx emulator. Okay, so here we go. Raid on Tri-City, second wave. I believe this is from... Yes, Tuna Games' yes, Tuna. <laughs> YouTube channel. So this is the newest nice. uh, newest trailer for them. Two minutes. There we go. Ooh, this looks tetris -y. Oh, it's like shooting and Tetris at the same time. Ah, oh, we can move up. Now, are you wanting to move up? Is that the goal, or are you trying to prevent them from building it? Maybe. He is shooting them, so I don't think he wants to build them up. Oh. Oh, it does. It, it does lose lines. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Sorry. This might be better in full screen. Let's try that. Uh, no, that's okay. We can't see. Are we supposed to? Can. Sorry about that. Thank you for alerting me. Oh, you collect? You collect those? As the score goes up? Oh, it's making... It's clearing as well. Yeah, it's clearing when it goes through. Oh, I don't know what those oh, things mean. The person who's playing is strategically letting ones draw. Yes. Because it's but like they're Tetris. they're not going for those yellow things. This one is playable in Argon. Excellent. Yes, there's a number of these games that are part of the Atari Homebrew Awards that are playable in Argon, so you can uh, demo them. Mm. The the actual Raid on Tri-City Second Wave, this one is playable in Argon. They've, okay. They've allowed them to be played for a limited time during the Atari Homebrew oh, Awards. Oh, good. Oh, that's good. But um, I don't have a way to hook up Argon to output through the stream at the moment. Right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go to the game itself. Um, an earlier version of the game. So I think we got the There we go. Oh, it's the there we go there's the yes tuna yes, now i know tuna. the name because i've said it enough yes tuna okay so i'll let you play because i played it the last game you played it i played the last game you didn't play the last game uh maybe yeah so i think you you get points for shooting them yeah what is the yellow Try and shoot it. I think maybe it's. Oh, I can't. Yeah. I saw I him collecting it. So maybe you can go collect that yellow. Can you? I can't. I, I'm jumping over. Yep, you get a lot of points for collecting it. And you don't get points for shooting it. So you don't want to shoot the yellow. You want to collect it. There's pluses and. Try and collect the pluses too. Yeah. And the minus. Oh, that oh. killed me. <laughs> the screen is okay. cracked. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Okay, so that, if you shoot it, explodes. Yeah. Oh. One second. I'll make it bigger for them. Okay. Ah, uh, it's a bit bigger. There we go. Argon, that's where I played Asteroid Chasers. So a number of uh, games are available on Argon for you to play. They are a, a sponsor of the Atari Homebrew Awards. Thank you, Argon. Ooh, I wonder what happens if it collapses on your own hand. Oh, don't shoot them. I don't, I don't know. 
what there's pluses and minuses. Like, what's the point of collecting? You get 50 points for collecting. You get one point for shooting. What's this? Uh, what don't touch it. Oh. <laughs> Maybe shoot it it's from afar cool. next time. <laughs> Yeah, if you let it go without collecting the yellow ones, you don't get the points for the yellow ones for combining them. So I would always collect the yellow ones because they turn into gray anyway. And I bet you have to not let it get to the top. Oh, well, yeah, of course. Yeah, because there's a red line there. So you want it to make a Tetris. So it's kind of a balance between collecting the bonus ones. Yeah, no, you don't want it to go to the top. You're oh, true. Stop it from going to the top. That's true. Hardcore too. Oh my god, so long. Oh, you paused me. Yeah. It was just really loud. There you go. Some of the emulators pause when you click away and some don't. Like it. Oh. oh, it's treat time again. Treat time already? I thought you just had treat time. Must be two o'clock. It is two o'clock. There you go. Two dings? I don't know. Spoiled cat. He's spoiled today, isn't he? Atari thanks you, Ivory Tower Collections. Oh no! Oh no! One more. Yeah, I would do that. Hopefully you can complete a line. Oh, you can shoot it! Yeah, just keep doing that. 100%. Yeah, oh, gone. you're gonna come. There you go! You got it. Oh, I didn't do much. Those, those, those yellow things. Oh, block it. Oh, oh yeah, you no. can't get rid of them. Oh, so you want to shoot those at all oh, costs. I'm, I'm dead. Ah, that's so cool. Oh, for me? <laughs> yep, have some treats. Oh, you got high score. Sunday show, just stopping by. Yay, hey, Pack Rat. Hey, Pack oh, Rat. thank you for resubscribing. Did you ding? I didn't hear, but I'll give you one there. We'll go for standard. That seemed like a decent. Yeah, it's hard, but it, it's playable. So what is that one? It explodes. Oh, just explodes. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I'm one more. Dead. Already dead. Because I missed shooting that green what thing? one. Green one? Oh, yeah, that green one right there. I can't get rid of it. Yeah. Unless it explodes, unless you get a bomb. I think the bomb oh, would, would kill yes. it. Oh, yes. I don't know what that is. Oh, I shot it. Now it's inert. Good. Uh oh. My tower is very tall there. Mm -hmm. I do not want yeah, blocks you, you at want all. You want something to. Careful though. Yeah. Oh. oh boy. Something on the sides. Something down the left. Yeah. Come on. Oh, oh, you're gonna build up your tower pretty high there. A little bit. There we go. Oh, we got caught in the explosion. Okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Demanding cat. I know, I'm watching you play. Oh, good, I got that one. Oh, gone. Oh, now I'm in trouble. <laughs> I retire. We have thought about training him for the rage resets. Oh, um, damn it. I love it when he rings the bell multiple times. Let's go relax mode. Just for the last Grab game. a few more. If he has any more, okay. he's going to start getting chonk. <laughs> chonk. Yeah. Okay, okay. Chonk, a few please. More. I would like to be chonk. I'm going to have to give you less at lunch. I know. This is a very it's very cool good twist on like a Tetris, Tetris style game. Yeah. yeah, block dropping games, block matching. Oh, I don't know what that green is. The green? Oh. It takes away your bullets because oh, each plus gives you a bullet. Oh, I think. It. There you go. It takes away your bullets. <laughs> I'm a soft touch for animals. Treats would be awarded liberally. Yes. Bullets. It is until you start getting guilted when you take them to the vet. What does and that bullets like, mean? I think you shoot. You you run out of shot. You have to get oh, really? your shots. Yeah. Oh, do, wow. I, do you think? I don't know. I don't know how that Let's, works. Let me do some no. strafing, crazy no, maybe. strafing. No, it doesn't seem to change things. No. 
Maybe it increases your bullet speed, st speed or yeah. strength, or how many you can shoot at once. Yeah. Because my bullets are up to full now. Oh yeah, you can strafe. Do crazy strafing. Didn't take much to build it up though. No. But you do want some of those to come down, right? You want them to to Oops. fill. True. Okay. So many treats. We give him smaller treats now too. He used to get big <laughs> chonky treats and so, there we go. I'm kind of fill in the right. Okay, this side. is the last one. I'm gonna throw <laughs> it over there so I can take it away. Sweet kitty. I'm a soft touch for animals. Treats will yeah. be awarded liberally. Yeah. yeah. That can be a problem. Oh, I oh, gotta get can, rid of that. No, no. You yeah. want it explode? Oh, to get rid of a, a big the big tower that was yeah. beneath it. True. Oh, what? Can't get rid of that one. Oh, I can shoot it to explode that one. Yeah, neat. Mm. See, if you if you hit the minus, it takes away one of your bullets. Oh. So I don't know why. Weird. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I've got it back now. Yeah. Maybe. We should really read the instructions. Yeah. Sorry, ran out of time. Everybody should definitely play all these games themselves. <laughs> On their own. Oh, don't want that t any taller. Oh. So you're saying wait? Ah, that okay. explodes in, on impact. That would be a good one. But the other there. one seems to... Um, there. So I want to get rid of that green, because I like my bullets. I, I, yeah, I don't know if there's an advantage to like getting the greens if you get points for them. But So the explosion do a really big amount of points? Yeah. Yes, tons of points for the explosion, so you want it to happen. Yeah. Who's that guy? No, Can't shoot remember. it. I don't know. It stays there. Oh no, that's the one you shoot and it kills shoot. the whole line. Ah. That's the red one again. Oh, voting ends tonight. It does. It does. Good to know. Good to know. That's a good thing to repeat. Yep. So get your play time in now. Yes. Oh, get your play time in now. You've got how many hours? Ten hours. Or twelve? No, ten hours to vote. Ends midnight Pacific Standard Time. Oh, oh god. Those, Those are bad. Well, not the explosive ones. I should have shot just the other ones. So this is unrelaxed. Yeah, so it's, I think it's a I little easier now. I <laughs> can probably move up to non-relaxed now. I've got it pretty much handled. Oh, I should have shot that middle one. Nice. Don't need any more of that. Over there. No. Ah, no. It's hard to get under them sometimes. Yeah, it's very... It goes click, 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 click. Get that, oh, oh too late. Oh, there forever. Till I get a splody. Yeah, that one you can explode it, I think. Oh, no. Oh, oh it doesn't explode. Oh, that one's gonna, yeah. Oh, oh, I can fall into a pit. Oh, really? You, oh, oh. Cause I fell off. Interesting. Super cool. Yay. We'll be voting right after this for 8-Bit mm -hmm. 50 Toner and Links. Voted already for 2600, 7800 packaging. Thank you much, so much, Dan. Okay. Next game is... <laughs> da, 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 da. Is Sky Raider Redux. Mm. Um, so we'll, we'll be playing a video of that one right now. This is the most up-to-date video. Oh, this looks like a game Songbird up your alley. Productions. Yeah. <gasps> so it's a oh. kind of a take on River Raid. Yes, I was going to say very River Raid-esque. But they've uh, added in a bunch of other stuff. So this is a trailer for the more updated version. We'll be playing mm -hmm. a little bit older version. So Sky Raider Redux by James Higgs uh, slash Team Jum. Miss Command said, yeah, I voted for packaging right after showing yay. the pics. Oh, yeah, it is helpful then. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray. Big boss. Sky Raiders Redux. Nice. There we go. This is for Lynx. Yes, all these are for Lynx right yes. now. So let's load up Sky Raider. This is just normal Sky Raider. 
not reduxed. Dan ABC says Songbird makes great games. Yes, they do. Go for it. Shoot all the things. Don't run into them. Get the fuel. Same rules as River Raid. River Raid. You played River Raid. Yes, yeah. I have. Because I think we've played some hacks oh, on the show of River Raid. Fuel. You can. About that. You do get points. So if you're full of fuel, you go ahead and shoot it. Where's my fuel gauge? Oh, at the bottom. I bottom see it. Right. Oh, not too bad then. Uh oh, oh this happened last time. <laughs> but after I reloaded it, um, it was fine. Okay. I'm like, damn it, I broke it. <laughs> How could you break I it? I always break things. Or Atari does, one or the other. Bad cat, chewing if it's, on If cables. it involves cables, then He's it's... the one who breaks it. <laughs> or chews it. Oh, oh too close. Right off, right off Avoid it. Just too avoid. close. Vertical Gosh. shooter? Yes, please. Need more shots. Must be more shots here somewhere. More shots? Yeah, more it's bullets? very slow. I think it's one at a time. Is it? Oh. Yeah. Very traditional 2600 style game with one bullet. Maybe there's a power up for double shots? We'll have to see. Oh, risky. Don't have to shoot everything. I like shooting as much <laughs> as I can. Oh, colorful balloons. Are you supposed to shoot the balloons? It seems, Everything. It's, Everything. It's, it seems so mean to shoot down a balloon. I mean, I guess they could be a spy balloon, but they still. Are. Oh, now they're moving. Yeah. Can I move around? No. Oh, it did again. I tried to move forward. Is that the problem? I don't think so. No? Mm -hmm. Can you move forward? You can just move side to side, right? Uh, I think you can move forward as well. Mm, let me try that again. What was no, the game you showed no a forward. video of before? That is um, uh, Sky Raider Redux. So it's the same game, but enhanced. A uh, newer version of it. So that's the one you're actually judging on. But this is an earlier version that gives you a, 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 an idea. Just so we can play, play a version of it. Because I don't have the game, and I don't even have a Lynx yet. Be more up to speed when I get a Lynx. There's no forward and back. It's just side to side. Okay. Side to side, yeah. Hi. You gonna squeak? Yes, he likes to squeak. Oh, let's give you cuddles. No, no cuddle. No cuddle times. Oh, the balloons aren't moving yet. Do they move? Uh oh, that's a bad sign. Ah! Oh. Ah, smoosh. Oh, no, oh, you're still playing. Am I? Oh no, you're not. One okay. life. No. Was it one? Yeah, I guess it was. Fuel's on the land. <laughs> yep. I don't know if this is the best emulator for the Lynx. Oh, for I the mean, Lynx? Yeah. Well, it's it has the one a you have. date of 2012. Yeah, it does. So that's 10 years. What did I crash into? I don't know. You must. Oh, no, you ran out of fuel. You oh, ran out of empty. Oh, my goodness. That was quick. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised. I don't know how that happened. Oh. I don't see. There's no fuel gauge. Oh, no. What's going on? Flying blind, I've just been Unlimited get... fuel! Oh, Unlimited fuel! I'm not so sure about that, based on my last game. Can I have I some haven't fuel? Seen... There's some fuel. <gasps> Need it. Quick. There! There's my fuel gauge. And, and I crashed. Death. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Can you read some chat out, please? Uh, what was the game you showed a video not before? Yeah. Why is the Redux version not nominated? Uh, it is. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Should be. We're playing all the nominated games. Okay. Uh, I didn't even think of it. Uh, this is Ivory Tower Collections, but I could have lent you my McWill links that has VGA on it, so you could use it for the show. I just oh, thought. Oh, thank it's you. Probably that... a little late, but the. <laughs> but I would have also had to have one. Either the actual game cartridges, which yes, I don't. Yes, that's true. That's true. Um, because it ha because the Redux is only on cartridge. Gotcha. Um, or I would have had to have a multi cart, in which case we'd be playing this exact version anyway. Mm. Um, I could have asked for a copy, I guess, from the from the um uh, distributors. Fuel goes down pretty quick, actually. Um, but that 
I don't know if that's super cool to ask for copies for free. Oh, oh, oh my God, that, that was, was close. very, very close. Oh, my oh fuel. no. My that's, oh, oh, more fuel. Accidentally just firing bullets off into the horizon. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Oh, it's hard to dodge because you can't go forward and back. Fuel. Well, I'm not going for that fuel. No, that? that's not oh. a real one. Oh, there's jets now. Uh oh, jets, jets are have jet. started. I need that fuel. No! Oh, oh, I knew it. You have to get under it. That was a good run. Yep. Very good one run. One more. One more. Okay. That was a very, very poor choice. I don't know how that didn't kill me. <laughs> Uh, if you had the Lynx GD to go with it, I'm sure the devs would have been willing to lend you ROMs to show. Yeah, that's... It's possible they would have. Um, it's quite a good chance they would have. But uh, Oh, don't shoot fuel. Didn't mean to. You get points. I know. So I mean, I wasn't down fuel, to zero, but still. Yeah. If you don't need the fuel, then it's all good. No! Oh, Maybe you should show more of the Redux version then. It makes a big <laughs> difference. Well, we showed the trailer, so. Not sure if there's any more to show. We did show the trailer, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Oh, uh, how are you supposed to get that? I don't know. Just be on the left and don't, shoot it? Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was good. That was a good run. Really fun that game. That is very fun. Um, so the next game is Unnamed. That's the actual name of it. Is <laughs> it's unnamed? not unnamed, but it is called Unnamed. Okay. And we have a trailer for that. Not unmanned. Un not unmanned. Oh. Unnamed. Unnamed. This is also by Songbird Productions. Very nice. You find yourself in a weird-looking place. Hello, Coffee Cup Arcade. Hey, Coffee Cup Arcade. Is it unnamed, or is it is unnamed its title? <laughs> unnamed is unnamed its title. Yeah. So it's <gasps> like a... Uh, RPG? Yeah. It's, it looks like you move around in it. Nice. It's not a point-and-click. Yeah. It's like a move around and menu. Because a lot of the yes. point-and-clicks... It's more like a Maniac Mansion type of game. Nice. Like Very short that. trailer. There is no binary for that one. It is kind Abs of pointless. Absolutely at all. No binary at all. We'll just replay that, actually. There's very, no binary? Very quick, no. Oh, so you have nothing... Nothing oh. to play, unfortunately. Unfortunately. The Twisted Ivy blocks the door. So it looks really cool. <gasps> there's a cat! Oh, I saw a cat! cat. Spiderweb. Big spider's web. So you can look, move, take, and use. Okay. Those are like the basics okay. for a, a game. I like, I mean, I like the graphics. Yeah. So you have to buy the cartridge for this game? Is that yeah. the idea? Mm, yeah. Okay. Available now. This would be a fun one uh, to actually get our hands on and play if we can. It would be. It looks <laughs> like a really like fun this. one. Yeah, you do find some things that you keep in inventory and use elsewhere. Puzzle, Puzzle elements. elements. Yeah. Yes. Kind of point and click. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you for streaming Atari. I used to work for Atari. Well, ah. That's very awesome. I, I remember you from a previous stream. Yes. Yep. I remember you saying that. Uh, next one is called Yump or Jump or mm -hmm. Xump 2. Um, and we do have a binary for that. Oh. Okay. So let's load that up. And this is kind of puzzly. Mm. I'm going to restart it. This is a nice little intro. Coffee Cup Arcade also streams with his wife. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I'm just going to restart this. Okay. Nice intro graphics. Jump to back to space. I'll let you play this because okay. I think this is your type of game. Ooh, okay. Uh, probably new game. Oh, very cute. Space and a thing. So. Uh, it's you, counting down. What am I doing? You jump on all the blue squares and and they disappear. And you did it. 
Oh, I see. So uh, just the, the bright blue. Yeah, bright blue, dark blue Puzzly. you can stand on. Excellent. And you get a puzzle, a uh, password, so you can go back to each level. Nice. So you have to kind of be careful of this because it does move very easily. So just press and let go when you want to move once because it can do a double move very, very that makes easily. Sense. Emudan says this is a fun one. It is. It gets challenging. Mm. Um, you're not on a light blue mark right now. So there. Oh, uh, oh. Yeah, careful. You can fall off the edge. What a cute opening screen. It is very nice artwork <gasps> on this one. Adorable. <laughs> <laughs> you did an adorable job on that. So this is a jump to by Nop90, who did the code. Jonathan Dodd and Dulkin, who did oh. the graphics. Yeah, you have to be careful. You don't go over one too far. Uh, Mikhail Shiplowski, Shipla ah. who did the oh music. Oh my gosh, it's very sensitive. Yeah. I'm trying to do it one click at a time. Oh, your little guy has like a flower or bow in, in its Something hair. Something in its hair. On its head. <laughs> it doesn't have hair. So... I believe you have to go over these twice. Uh... Yeah. It's so dang amazing. It is. Oh, Blaster. Blaster. Time's up. Oh, okay. uh, have you ever played the arcade or Atari 800 5200 version of Blaster? It's the sequel to Robotron 2084. I just recently discovered it. I reached out to Eugene Jarvis and gave him an earful for not bragging about this one with me. But I'm telling everyone, oh my god, it's so good. Uh, what they got to run in the arcade with one megahertz. I have not played Blaster. Is it a dual stick as well? Neat. <laughs> Three seconds. I, I mean, you can oh, do boy. it. You just have to be so careful. No, first person shoot him up. Mm. Interesting. First person shoot him up. Hmm. Oh, you have Oh. You have to get to that square as soon as you can. You have to what, watch the what, little. What? What is going on? Game over. My turn. I think you can continue. So. Yeah, you might as well continue. So you have to do that. <gasps> that dissolves up. underneath you. I didn't realize because I was waiting and I was looking at it and then it died. And I was like, oh, oh. well, you'd have to get to the next one too. You have to, it, but it dissolves if it's a light blue one. It will dissolve underneath you. This one, you can only go in those lines. Yeah, so that'll. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah Double movement. <laughs> but we're using careful. an emulator and a controller, so yeah. it's not exactly. And you did PS2 Midway Arcade Collection Volume 1 has the arcade oh God, version on I it. I did this wrong. Can you go down? Oh my God, it's not much time on this level. No. No, no, no. It, it dissolves underneath you if it's bright oh, blue. Do you get okay, it? You, yeah. can't, you can't just sit there. So, so I have to do that one. And then there. That, then back. <gasps> and then, then you're dead. Then I'm dead. <laughs> Sad. Okay, you give this hey. one a go. You even get an adorable as a congratulations message, yeah. Adorable. Great title screen. Where it zooms in and yeah. great graphics. An animated full screen graphics. So I think what you want, oh, what do you want to do? Oh, I think you want to go past that around and then go back down and then finish off in the bottom. That's what you want to do. But you may still be able to go straight up. No. Oh, you did it. I bet there's multiple ways to do this one. Oh, oh I ran my out God, time. it's so fast. Yeah, that's fine. At least I know how to James do it. James and please play Blaster Arcade, Mame or FBA, or the 850 200 versions of the game. It's very, 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 very impressive oh, on all platforms. Oh, my God. That was We'll stupid. have to look that up. Um, and we'll give it a try. I mean, we only play uh, Homebrew on this show, so we wouldn't be able to playing it on the show. Oh. But we can play it. No, I think you can no, still do it. No, no you can't I do can't. It now. I can't. You could have gone straight up around and then back down again. No, you yeah. can't. Yeah. No, you can't. You can't. You can't go down. Can you? Hey, hey, you're up. No, Game over. No, 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 no. No. Oh, you mean up and around. Yeah, okay. 
I think Atari Age has a 5200 re repro card available. Oh, for that game? Oh, interesting. I, I went you to the side. Gone to the right. I did. Oh no. Oh my god, I didn't hit up. Lies. Oh, it's, Computer it's a, says no. It's a it's a D pad, like Computer says no. Oh my goodness. Somebody put a uh emoji. Right down. There we go. Did it. Yay. Finally. Level seven. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, you need to go all the way around there, back again, then down to the left. No! Oh yeah, you have to get off of it. That's right. Smart. Terrific! This is super cute. Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. You got it. You got it. Yep. No, no, I'm yep. dead. I'm nope. dead. No, up, up. Oh, right. No. No, I'm dead. Now you're dead. Now I'm dead. Uh. Hmm. I think you want to do the inside first. Yeah, you do. Because you can't get back to the inside once you're on the I outside. Get to the inside. Oh, you go in. Go down, cross, and then do the inside. Oh. And then do the inside. Here? Yeah. Go right, then down. Ah! Down where? Down there. There. Now do that somehow. Get off of it and go inside and finish that middle first. No, don't do it. Don't do I'm all of it. I'm doing yet. all of it. <laughs> Freak me out. How do you get no. back to the outside again? Hmm. There's a What's way that? to do it. I think it's just trial and error. Yep. Um, Very cool puzzle game. Yeah. Love it. Puzzle games are so much fun. They are so much fun. Um, and then we're on to the last game. Y-N-X-A. Oh, that had lovely packaging we saw in the oh, last. Yes, it did. It was... Um, up for uh, nominated. Up for nomi yeah, for packaging as well. It looked very uh, as tech inspired. Yes. Which makes me think of uh, that shooting game, whatever it's called. Um, 30th birthday. Four oh, oh. Well, That's okay. Balls we don't that need you to shoot save. In, a, in an order. Anyway. New game? Yeah. It was a shiny day. Leaf was lounging, rocked by a light wind. When suddenly the wind rose, and Leaf heard a little voice carried by the wind. I need your help. <laughs> <laughs> Leaf was carried by the wind for hours beyond forests and mountains. After the sunset, everything went black and cold home. And suddenly everything stopped. Leaf was lying in a cold, dark, cold surface alone. Oh, no. When Leaf, o Leaf opened his eyes, well, maybe not alone. Oh, no. Oh, little, little Leaf. Oh. Oh, uh-oh. I don't think that comes back. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, well, it's okay. Go through the door. This door? Yeah. Oh, there you go. He doesn't so he jump. So he can't jump. Not yet. Great, now you have the ability to jump. <laughs> Press <laughs> A needed. button to jump. This should be useful in the future. Oh, yes, Tuna says, this is the 2019 version. There's a video of 2021 version with new graphs and levels here. We'll play that after we play. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, yes, Tuna. And thank you for watching. Oh, you fell in the pit of death. Oh. Bitten! There's some foes lurking in the pyramid. Well, they're not here just for the decor. Beware of them. Okay. So this is the only available binary to play. Okay. So we have to play something. This gives an idea of of the game but we'll play the video um that yes tuna linked uh after after you give it a play no. No. kittens what are you doing bad cat you're gonna be on your pillow oh. princess cat i have to jump yeah i have to make sure i jump clear over yeah. that 
Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't push and hold the button. I like the sense of humor in this one. Yes, very cute little characters. What are you doing? He's looking for cat nest. In cat nest? There, you can lay down right there. Oh, come on. Oh no, on. pit of death. I can't get out of it. No? No. Can't, can't jump, jump high him? enough. Can't jump on him. You can try. Down. No. Yes, Tuna! Woo! So. I don't think you can get up on the top one. No, I, I, don't I did think try you can. earlier today, but I couldn't. I, I can't. Yeah, I don't think you can, but maybe you can. Yeah, you can't jump from there. Oh my goodness, the timing of the jumps. So you have to press it just a bit before you think you need to. Oh yeah, I, it's I find it's good to practice it's, here. I, I uh, you have to jump well ahead. I don't think you can make it there. I don't, I don't think so either. You can need that clearance that you have here. He's cute, that little leaf, though. You would need a double jump to go up. Winky, winky. Yeah, that sets mm. the double jump there. Ah. Double jump, hey. Oh, but you have jump now. So there's multiple up. routes. You can go there, you can go up the ladder, you can go to this door. Spideys. No double jump to that. Not yet. Whoa, that was close. Wow, <gasps> double jump. Press the A button. Bad. What? We didn't read it all. But we know how to double jump. Yay. Nope. Almost. See if I can get that other one. He he's a leaf, so he's a little floaty. He is a floaty, floaty leaf. I don't know if I can get up there. Can I you? think you can. Can you? Yeah. Oh. Just not. I think it jumps at the height of the jump that you're on, so you want to time it so. Goodness. Coffee Cup Arcade. Just ordered Blaster with box for the Atari 5200. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, see? Yeah, he makes it up top. Yeah. Oh my goodness. No, I don't know. Do you want to try it? Yep. I'm having trouble with the double jump. <laughs> there you go. Leaf is light but agile. Fire is powerful but fragile. Uh, break if fall from too high. Water cannot use ladders. Where did you get that? Oh, it's the other button. Oh. Nope. Maybe you can't. I'm going to just try it over here. I think you can. I think you can. I think you have to jump from that double box, maybe. Maybe, because he is floaty. He is floaty. Oh. No, it's too far. No. <laughs> See, that's the same height as that other that other um. It is column. same distance, right? It's the same height, yeah. Height and distance. So I think you have to start from there. You can get to that level. I think it's ah! just all in the timing. I did this in when I was practicing. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I swear I did. Come on. I made it. <gasps> Everybody should be able to vote now that I've gone through all oh, the games. Oh, is this the last one? Oh, oh there. there we go. That's a tricky jump. You can jump. do it, yeah. So now you can go up here. Hmm. 
in theory. <laughs> in <laughs> Once theory. you get used to the double jump. Yeah, that's he's a tricky very, one. He's a very floaty little guy. Well, let's go back and actually change into another character. Yeah. Let's go up here. Nope. Oh, no, I can't do that. Can't I need can't. to be smaller. Oh. Hello, I'm the element of fire. I can unleash your firepower. In order to achieve your adventures, you will need to use... use each element. Use wisely each, each element. element. Gotcha. I'm a bag of fire. <laughs> Of the three says they voted two. However, they don't know who to vote for the music sounds category. Oh, That's hard. Erm, seems like you deserve the to gain the fireball ability. Nice. Just press Ed, A to send the fireball. Ah. Oh, nah. is there no jumping? Uh, no. Ah, so it's okay. just shooting. So can you switch anytime you like? Uh, I don't. No, you have to hit a green thing or a red thing. I'm guessing. Ah. I like this guy. I can get rid of these naughty spiders. Pesky spiders. Nice. But I can't get up there. <laughs> oh. oh! Oh no, I fell oh, down. Oh, you can't fall either. Uh -huh. Good to note. Be very deliberate then. You could probably go back though. Oh my god. There you go. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, and there's the door here. Oh, they come back though. Oh, I went through the door accidentally. Oh, the enemies? Oh, you, mean? you, you ran into them. The enemies come back here? Yes. Mean? Yeah. So I have to go through that door because I can't jump. I How have to get over Can there. you shoot that box or something? Oh. The bottom? Careful, you can't oh. do that. You know that. <laughs> I forgot. Because oh, no. I'm so used to the other characters. Maybe. Because you can't shoot through the ladder, so you have to shoot them up here. And then go down the ladder. <laughs> 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 it's too tempting to just fall down the ladder. <laughs> down the ladder. There you go. Can you? Sh no, you can't. Oh um, no. Interesting. But you have your fire guard. Yeah. So let's take him up here. Don't yeah. fall. Don't fall. <laughs> Don't fall. Oh, there's nothing to say. Oh, he almost killed me. Bombastic. These boxes are oh, really annoying. Oh, now you can explode the boxes. If you concentrate, keep a pressed until being concentrated enough and see what happens oh, oh nice so i can oh, turn into this and dude. that box down there oh you can't jump back up oh but i can do those boxes yeah. nice nice oh what's down here uh, another box oh there's another box Nice. Cool little adventure game with oh, it's different. Great. Oh, there's a box down, but you'd fall and kill yourself. You probably oh. do they come back when you? You're gonna die. No, thought yeah. it would be okay in that character, but I was not. Maybe over time you have more resilience. Oh, he's a bat! I killed him so fast last time I didn't even see what he was. There's a door. So mm -hmm. now I have. Accidentally went through the door. That's okay. We'll go back. So it's, it's like one of those games where you get things to go and then to you other level places. It up and, yeah. yeah. So now I can go through here. Interesting. Oh, now this is the one you're gonna fall. Can you fall one? You, you can, can fall, fall one. one. Okay. So you that have to be careful. Good to know. And you get these little dots to power up. Bigger and dangerous. Be careful not to break yourself. Oh, oh boy. Hmm. What does that mean? Maybe. Oh, oh, I see. So it destroys more, so you have to be careful not to destroy too much. Or destroy what's beneath you, right? Yeah. Yes, that's right. Like that's... So now I can go back here and go to that um, box, right? Was it? Yeah, yes. there was a box there that was a box. blocked my path. Can... <laughs> so that's going to kill me, though. Yeah, so how do you get across it then? But I don't know if it stays open for another character to get through. I don't know. Go through it again and see if it's still there. Well, it's there now. Yeah, so maybe that helps you. Let's see if it remembers. Go back through. I mean, I haven't changed characters, but... <sighs> I almost got you there. No. no, it doesn't. Interesting. So how do you switch? Oh, it says... Be careful not to blow up too much, but how can I blow up that one oh, without you, blowing up the other? Oh, can you? You can't jump on the spider, can you? Mm. No. 
Like, there's no way I can blow up just one. Oh, you need a lighter one. You can't yeah, go back, can you? I should have blown it up when I was less powerful. Mm -hmm. You should use a smaller explosion. Can you do a small explosion? Or No. Can you do a small instead of a big? It's only big. It's only big now, as far as mm. I can tell. I'm too big. Too big. Maybe you need water now to tone yourself down. Yeah, see? Hi. Ouch. Yeah. I'm going to go down yeah. there again and... <laughs> very cool <laughs> that's super super fun we're going to take a look at the linked um have a good have a good evening video. coffee cup arcade <laughs> yeah thanks for hanging out with us again yes um so we're going to take a look at the video that was linked to us mm -hmm. um by yes tuna oh good oh good because that is a more uh up-to-date version of the game because we're playing an older one let me just get this up and going here. Boom. YouTube. It's a funny way to display it, right? It's on a Lynx. It's really small. I like but it. I mean, that's the way that's it's how you, meant to you, be displayed, exactly. right? It, it's I like small. That. Hey, Mike Soul. Hey, Mike Soul. Just made it. You need to be able to change the character yourself, so unleash water powers first. Oh, so you have to kind of get all your powers all and then, yeah, go back and do those things. Oh, cute. Oh, he jumps. Oh, he's so cute. He's jumping now instead of uh, walking. Elemental of water. Oh, then he changes into water. Mm. Fire. Oh, the fire is blazing on this version. That's back to leaf. Very cute. It shows you how to go through a door. Yeah. Very nice. It shows you an um, example level. There's nice. A, so it has a tutorial. Oh, Switch. It has a tutorial built into the game as nice. you start the game. Oh, it's so cute. <clears throat> this is really creative. I really like yeah. it with all the elementals and then the leaf Different floating powers. around. Yeah. The fire and the water. I like that a lot when you're it, when it is like a puzzle game and you have to switch between um no, no. I guess there's no sound in this. Um powers and modes. It's yeah. really fun. Kind of Mega Man-y in a way. Yeah. Like not, but Well, Mega Man has different uh different uh, weapons. Yes. And they all do different things. They so all it makes do different sense. things, yeah. And the leaf can fall and float down. Yeah. Now you can jump. Yay. So this has com been completely redone, all the levels. Nice. And the graphics and animations. Normally I don't go for displays that show the shell of the console, but this is pretty cool for appreciating the experience was of like. The link. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a really cool way to show it. And also with screens that are quite high resolution now, it's yeah. nice to see it sometimes a little smaller because that's how, that mimics the how you would play it a little bit better, right? Yes, that's like, right. Like um, same with uh, Game Boy games where it just seems very small and, and simple. And you blow it up, it's like whoa! whoa yeah, the pixels. <laughs> yeah, they're <laughs> big. They're so big. What am I playing in Atari Twenty Six Hundred? This one's on Argon too. Excellent, thank you nice. again. I don't nice. have a list in front of me of which ones are and aren't, mm. so that's great. So you can play this this version. Yes. On um, Argon. Arg Argon, excellent. This is a four minute, so we'll just uh, skip ahead there. Lava, nice. Some stairs. Oh, this is the stairs. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I watch you folks on a 52-inch TV. I'm used to chunky <laughs> pixels. Yeah, That would be chunky, playing 2,600 games. <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch jump. to the end of the demo yeah. here. Oh, I think that's that's the end. That's the end? Yep. That's the end. Excellent. Good job. So that looks like a really fun game. It was very fun to play. Oh, very fun. Yeah. I, another one I wanna, <laughs> I'd like to try out. Yeah. Play it in its entirety. Um, so that is it for today. Lots of and games. that's is it till the award <gasps> so show games. Yeah. as well. 
So now that we've run through every single game that's been nominated, it's time to make sure you voted in all of the categories. And if you haven't, um, if you don't have an emulator or the console, you can watch us play yeah. uh, or watch other videos uh, that other people of have other played. people posted, yeah. Um, and vote now because you have nine hours until it closes. Nine hours left. Um, so make sure you get your votes in. <laughs> in as many categories as you'd like to um, put your vote in. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's about it. We might go over what's coming up on the show quickly. Bring that up. Okay, so that was today. We did Atari 8-bit, 5200, mm -hmm. Atari Lynx, and Atari Packaging. And the next show will be on next Saturday. We don't have regular scheduled shows because we have to prepare. And? And what's happening next Saturday? Oh, the, oh, the Atari Homebrew Awards. The, there you go. <laughs> Fourth annual Atari Homebrew Awards. Yes. And it will be at noon, the same time we started today. <laughs> yes. Um, so check your local listings for your times, 12 p.m. Pacific time, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. GMT. So everybody in the world can more or less watch it. Um, I think even Australia is okay. Kind of. can't remember is what it is. Is it the next is. morning? Is it the next morning? It is, well, I think someone was it is saying it was morning. 7 a.m. So at their time, which oh. I'm guessing might have been uh, Australia. Hopefully. So Hopefully it's not too bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, and then after our break, we'll be coming back on March 4th, so we can decompress, gather ourselves. Uh, Raptor, we have the exclusive World Work in Progress mm -hmm. premiere. Nobody knows anything about this, and I don't know if I can reveal anything. It's super cool. Yeah, uh, I got to see it too. I'm very excited. Yeah, it's for yeah. the 2600, and then we have the exclusive final build of yeah. Ruby Q. Uh, 1942 will be playing. Uh, for the 7800, we're going to be playing Wordle. Yeah. That'll be fun. Wordle. Oh. Uh, Dragon's Havoc has been updated recently. We'll be playing that. Mm -hmm. uh, plus probably some other 7800 game. Uh, on the 8th... Oh, those those dates are wrong. What dates? Because it's the 8th and the 8th. I have to oh, fix that. I see. And he's a shift. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then the day, uh, the show after that, Alien Exterminator, exclusive final build of that. Grizzards, exclusive work in progress update of that. Nice. Uh, Huey's Party. Is that for things. Huey, Dewey, and Louie? I don't uh, know. <laughs> no. no. Um, <laughs> this looked like a fun game. Those are all for 2600. I need to put 2600 beside them. Those, some of them might be rearranged and moved around. Okay. Oh, and Dan's... 2022 20, Harmony Games of the winners okay. of the Atari Homebrew Awards starts on March 14th. Excellent. Alan the Furs knows Raptor. Yes. Well, there are some playtesters out yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> so some people know Raptor. Yeah. Uh, will you post uh, any sequence of the award show? Uh, I'm not sure what that means. But we'll be doing it live. The order of the of what you're oh, producing, the sequence. do you mean? Like... No. No? <laughs> James is like, I don't have time for that. I don't, I don't know it yet. <laughs> I haven't planned out what's in what order yet. Okay. Um, but aren't you going to watch the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the order. No, no order. You'll have to find that out for yourself. <laughs> um, do they post the order of the awards? I don't know. They of might. Other I don't award know. show? Like, like if you're talking about like the, the Oscars? or I don't yeah. know if they do. We usually give away the completed games at the end like completed original completed ports at the end and of, original because yeah. that's like the accumulation of you know graphics and audio and packaging yeah. and everything's all into one thing yeah but the uh, rest you just kind of I, I scatter them i kind of balance them out so it's like oh it's a 2600 oh it's an 8 bit oh yeah. it's a 7800 and i go back and forth hmm. um yeah Order by number of votes. Mm. Reverse order by number of votes. Yeah. yeah. No. No. Uh, there's. It's going to be very similar to last year. So if you want to go look at last year's, of course we've added in links. So I'll slot that slot somewhere. That yeah. Yeah. And we'll have um, live on the show the people who uh, win 
the awards speeches yes. from yeah. them, either live or audio or pre-recorded video Some, something. or text that I read out something. Yeah. Usually we get something from it. Yeah. Um, might have Al Russo on there. Haven't nice. confirmed yet. Okay. He's been on every one of them. So yeah. I'm guessing come, he'll be on. Come, coming on to yep. chat. Hopefully yeah. we'll have somebody from Argonne. Nice. See if Brian is, Brian Mathern is uh, up for it if he's yep. recovered enough and yeah uh we're gonna have uh, a video from atari gamer mm -hmm. who runs the link web links web page oh nice okay that keeps track of all the games nice um what else lots of stuff we'll have atari in a bow tie yeah if, if he, he if, puts up with if it he puts up with it we'll have tanya there we'll have darcy there we'll yeah. have lots of fun yes um, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. We're done for today and done till next Saturday for the award show. Yay. Don't miss it. You award don't want to miss it. It'll be lots of fun. You didn't show the results of last show's poll. No, we, we talked about that immediately after and it d disappears from the screen, which is so frustrating. Yeah. Because if it was still on the screen, that would be a trigger to talk about it, but then it, it goes away. It times out. It times out. Yeah. After, I don't, two hours and it just disappears forever. Yeah. Um, so whatever you saw, the last time you saw it was pretty much the end of the results because yeah. people don't vote after it was all, two. It was two at 41%, I believe. Number two. Oh, yeah. two. two. Two was the highest one. I think it was. Two consoles. Yeah, two consoles. Yeah. Yeah. Darcy will be present. He will. Yeah. Unless he's sick. Unless he's Unless sick. Unless one of us, all of us are sick. And yeah. Then, then that's then a whole chaos. other thing, but <laughs> we're all hoping everyone's not sick. So yeah. Uh, t most people yeah. had two consoles. Yeah. Uh, then I think it was. I can't remember what came after that. I just remember the two. Two was the highest. It was quite a bit higher than yeah. the rest. Yeah. Yeah. But there was a vote for every single one of them. I was yeah. surprised. Some people yeah. play emulator. And some do it all on emulation, which one. is understandable. Yeah. I remember. And somebody chose five all consoles. Yeah. yeah. Ivory Tower, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> um, Not surprising. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it for us for today. Yes. Till next Saturday. Until the big show. The big show. So I have a ton of work to do. Yes, you do. I'll be working on that all week. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, just tell me what you to... need. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just food and water. Him. Send food and water downstairs. Food and water. Yeah. So thanks for tuning in. Vitoko, Arena Food, Mike Soul, Nostalgic, Ivory Tower Collections, Old Style. Oh, oh late to the party. Just snuck uh, in. Uh, Charles Reese Thrust. Dan AVC. Nostalgic. Arena Foot. Emu Dan. Coffee, Coffee Cup Co Arcade. Steps in there too. Oh, Mother 3. Yes. Uh, yes, Tuna. Welcome yes. to the show. Um, who else? Who else? Carl G. Trust is in there. Miss Command. Miss Command. Pack Rat. Yep. That's it. Lots of people. And Alan um, the First stuck in there too. Uh, thank you. Yes. We're glad to do the show. So Very much fun. Very exciting. It's so much fun to play all these games because they're all so good. So all of them are good. so good. They're all so good, and they're they're so fun to play. So great. And the Lynx ones we haven't. I haven't played a lot but, of these, so it's no. really fun to even just in emulation. Yeah. Give it them is. a whirl. So I I love that. That's very yeah. cool. Yeah. And uh, thank you again. To all the nominees for making these games, congratulations to all of them. Absolutely. And thank you to the nomination committee for going through all these games, yes. plus hundreds more. Yes, yes. And playtesting them and uh, nominating them to be yeah. uh, on the awards. Yes. Um, so thank you, everyone. And we'll be back next Saturday. Yes. Be there. Put a thing in your calendar. A remind you an hour before a day before mm -hmm. and uh, we'll see you on the live presentation of the atari homebrew awards fourth annual fourth see you there yes bye bye have a good, night. Have have a good, good night. afternoon